Schreibt euch das bitte auf, Leute. Hast du was zum Schreiben, auch du? Alexa antwortet, kannst du das bitte anpinnen, was ich jetzt vorlese? Jetzt ist der, hat er sich auf Stumm gemacht oder was? Es ist überliefert von Um al fadl das, Hörst du mir zu? Ja, ich höre dir zu. Okay. Es ist überliefert von Um al fadl dass der Apostel Allahs Um Habiba vor sich sah, Um Habiba vor sich sah, die zu diesem Zeitpunkt noch ein Kind war, das erst kürzlich das Säuglingsalter überschritten hatte. Und er sprach, sollte sie dafür bereit sein und ich bin noch am Leben, so will ich zu, sie zu meiner Frau machen. Mohammed guckt Babys an, die am Krabbeln sind und denkt als heiraten. Und jetzt, mit dem Maß, mit dem ihr an Sinan G gemessen habt, werdet ihr das gleich an Mohammed anwenden und sagen, ey, was hast du denn für Fantasien da in deinem Kopf, Mann? Wer ein ist, Baby? Um, wer, ist, wer ist um Al-Fadil, mein Lieber? Wer ist das? Siehst du, du kennst diese Leute gar nicht, ne? Aber vielleicht sind das ja nicht meine Leute, vielleicht sind das deine Leute. Schreib es dir auf, Mustad Ahmad, im, im Mustad von Imam Ahmad Hanbal, Hadith 26329. 26329. Musnad Ahmad, Hadis 26329. Jetzt pass mal auf, der Kommentar hier von, <lacht> pass auf. Stell dir vor, du bist ein über 50 Jahre alter Mann und statt, stattest deinem Onkel in seinem Zuhause einen Besuch ab. Dort siehst du dann ein kleines Baby, welches gerade das aus dem Säuglingsalter raus ist. Und das erste, woran du denkst, ist mit diesem Baby SX zu haben, sobald es bereit dafür ist, also bereit, wie es nach Mohammeds Standards beurteilt wird. Um sich ein Baby als die eigene zukünftige Ehefrau vorzustellen, muss es an diesem Baby schon etwas überaus Besonderes geben, das einen anspricht. Was war also das Besondere, das Mohammed an diesem Kind sah? Vielleicht war es die Windel, auf der er stand. <lacht> wie immer nutzte Mohammed seinen Gott Allah, um sich besser aussehen zu lassen. Und die Vorwürfe ein, ja, das will ich jetzt nicht nennen, weitestgehend anzumerzen. Er wandte die Gehensweise bei allen seinen äh, gelüsten Begierden und, äh, an. Und hier heißt es weiter, er erzählte den Leuten, dass Allah ihm erlaubt hätte, mit anderen Frauen nebst seinen Ehefrauen SEX zu haben und dass Allah ihm befahl, mit Ehefrau seines eigenen Adoptivsohns zu schlafen und auch die Erlaubnis SEX mit Kindern zu haben, kam Mohammed zur Folge von Allah. Und meistens benutzte Mohammed seinen Gott, um abgelehnte Forderungen durchzusetzen. Seine, diverse Lau seine Devise lautet, wer sagt es schon, wer, äh, wer sagt sch schon Nein zu sagen, wenn der Befehl von Allah kommt. Äh, die Geschichte seiner Eheschließung mit Aisha ist das beste Beispiel dafür. Der Prophet, guck hier, der Prophet bat Abu Bakr um die Ehe mit Aisha. Abu Bakr sprach, aber du bist doch mein Bruder. Der Prophet sprach, du bist mein Bruder in der Religion, in Allahs in Allahs Religion und seinem Buch. Aber sie ist mir erlaubt zu heiraten. Sayyid Bukhari 5081. <lacht> Jetzt ist er rausgegangen. Ich kann nicht mehr. <lacht> Rob Christian. Rob, komm in. Brother, brother, brother. You can't tell you. You are such a cat. <lacht> How dare you to expose Islam, brother? You are the biggest. You are the biggest cafe I have ever seen in my life, bro. That's true. That's true. <laughs> like, yeah, Amir, Amir, don't you know if you do this to brother, Allah, Allah will brother, not give you for a line, brother? Uh, brother, let, let me tell you. Here is, uh, here is a guy, a famous guy. He's a rapper from, uh, from Germany here. And uh, uh, his girlfriend uh, bring a, a video out from him. Um, and he said in this video, uh, I want to... Um, come in the hand of a little girl, in the hand of your niece, you know? And now Ger Germany is talking about his statements. And I'm saying to, to all of them, when you have a problem with his statements, you have you must definitely have a problem with Muhammad, the Sunnah, and the... And the uh, Stephanie uh, Mullah, so Stephanie Mullah. <clears throat> yeah, Stephanie yes. Yeah, uh, what I just said in Arabic, brother, does not mean uh, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah is vomiting on Allah. But yeah. <clears throat> so how, we, how are you, Amir? I hope uh, you're okay, brother. God bless you. Uh, you, God have bless you, you have to call me Amir al-Mukminin. You have to call me Amir al-Mukminin. With the, with the pink shirt. 
Booya! <laughs> <laughs> How is everybody in the chat? God bless everybody. Thank you for having me here again, brother Amir. Uh, what was the topic before I joined? What was the topic? Uh, we, we talked about we talked about that Muhammad uh, saw a little baby and he desired to uh, marry uh, marry her. Oh, you know, yes. he, he desired the, the baby, the, the little one who was crawling. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Muhammad loved little girls, brother. Uh, bro brother, show us the uh, show us please the reference. Brother, brother. Yeah. Uh, brother, show us the the the, the, um, the source in which Muhammad saw the uh, little baby, Um Habiba, and uh, desire her. Let's see. <clears throat> you kafir. <laughs> you kafir. <laughs> You're the biggest munafir. How dare you? You're the biggest munafir. Yeah. You know that I just woke up, huh? Yani, you're easy with me, brother. I didn't even have the coffee yet. Okay, no problem. But I'm trying to find it, don't worry. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, but <clears throat> regarding regarding Muhammad, brother, are you saying that Muhammad is a false prophet now? How dare you, bro? Only because he lusted after little girls? <laughs> it's halal. It's halal. halal. Brother. Brother Muhammad had privileges that no one else had. What's wrong with you? He's, he's special. He's special. He's very special, brother. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh... What was the hal? Um, what was Um Habiba? I can't remember, bro. I didn't use this hadith for a long time, but I'm sure I'm, I'm going to find it. Mm. Oh yeah, I think I found it. I think I found it. Glory to Christ. <clears throat> it's in Musnad Ahmad, yes. Musnad Ahmad. Hadith number 2500, uh, sorry, 25,636. Muhammad saw Um Habiba, the daughter of Abbas, while well, she was being nursed. Yani, she was a baby. Her mother was giving her. Okay. She was drinking milk from her, from the breast of her mother. Got milk? Yeah. And he said, no, who's talking? Muhammad said, if she grows up, she's a guy, she's a baby. Okay. If this baby grows up while I'm still alive, I will marry her. Boom, boom. Thank you for the donation, guys. God bless you so much. Yeah, this is Islam. This is Muhammad. Muhammad is special. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. And this hadith is uh, mentioned in many books, guys, not only one. <clears throat> Some Muslims will attack this hadith, of course, like always, when anything embarrasses Muhammad, they will say, oh, this hadith is da'if, this hadith is this, this hadith is poop, this hadith is uh, crap. Well, I like it when Muslims uh, call their own scholars liars. So I, uh, you know, you gotta love it. Muhammad Epstein, how dare you, bro? <laughs> Did you just <laughs> insult Rasulullah? <laughs> okay, I'm glad it's you, not me, brother. Hey guys, even the most authentic hadiths. When it embarrasses Islam, it becomes da'if. Any hadith that is authentic, it, if, if it embarrasses Muslims, they will throw even their own mothers under the bus to say it's da'if. Yep. But they will use even rejected hadith when it suits them. 
Yesterday I uploaded a video, guys. Yesterday I uploaded a video on YouTube about adult breastfeeding. And I mentioned that uh, the milk inside the cup is narrator is Al Waqidi. Who? Al Waqidi. Muslims use Al Waqidi, who is a known fabricator and a liar. Whenever you see his name in the hadith chain, the chain of narration, Al Waqidi, you have to reject him. You have to reject the hadith because he's a liar. What do Muslims do? They use his hadith while he is matruk al hadith. He is rejected in hadith. But they will even lie about Sahih hadiths and Hassan hadiths when it embarrasses Islam. This is the Muslims of today. I love young girls. Of course I love young girls. But I don't, I don't love them like your prophet does. I have a beautiful daughter, couple months old. I love her to death. I will die for her if it's needed. But uh, that's a different kind of love from father to a daughter. But your prophet married his own daughter, Zainab bint Jash, and he effed her. He did dingy dingy to his own daughter, Zainab bint Jash. This is the difference between your, between your filthy satanic prophet and us normal people have morality. Your prophet had no single morality. Boom. So you're confusing me with your false nasty prophet. Don't do that, brother. I'm not Muhammad. If, you're go if you want to call me prophet Muhammad, that, okay, that's on you. But don't confuse me with him, brother, because you are insulting me when you call me Muhammad, Rasulullah. Boom, boom. Amir, what are you doing, brother? You're working, huh? The, bro the brother needs to work, that's okay. <clears throat> I'm always working as, as, as well. Always working, brother. You have to provide for the family, right? <clears throat> Amir, welcome back. Yes. Did Someone you show that to the reference? Yeah, one of the one of your uh, chat uh, guys here in the in Muslim, he just called me Muhammad. He called me Prophet Muhammad. We're getting insulted, bro. Yo, King Sylvie here too? Kifak, Habibi, Shlonak. God bless you. Uh, guys, uh, please bear with me. I just woke up. I am... I'm slowly recovering. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee, to be honest. Ah. Uh. Let me make a cup of coffee. Anybody uh, wants to have some coffee too, guys? Salam al Masih, peace of Christ. <clears throat> Amir, you're busy, huh? Uh, the brother is really busy. You see? He keeps going away. Just a second, guys. Don't go or else. <laughs> just, just a second. Let me make some coffee, guys. I just woke up. Did you show everything? Give me, give me a second here. I need some coffee, bro. <laughs> you want a coffee too? I want like a coffee too. too. Yes. I like coffee. Coffee too. So Amir, you're busy, huh? I see. You keep going away. Yes, I'm busy. always busy. I'm always busy, busy. No, oh, not. I'm getting busy. <laughs> Amir, Amir, I'm why I'm Muslims call me Rasulullah on your chat, brother? brother? That's kufr, brother. It's kufr. Yeah, they call, they, some of them, there's a Muslim in the chat, he just called me Rasulullah. He's confusing oh, me what? with Rasulullah. Uh, I, I think a Muslim will come in. Mm. Ahlan wa sahlan. Hello, guys, Ahlan how are you? Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan.
Give me a sec here uh, because I need to, uh, I almost finished making coffee. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. God segne dich schon deine Familie. Wer ist da? Mein Name ist Omar. Omar? Hast du Fragen an Rob? Ich wollte ihm nur was mitteilen. Aber jetzt nicht ja, hardcore beleidigen oder so, ne? Nein, das ist nicht meine Art. Okay, sehr gut. Gott segne dich für deine, für deine normale Art. <lacht> Aber hast du das gerade mitbekommen mit dem, äh, mit dem Baby? Das habe ich mitbekommen. Ja. Ist schon hart, ne? Ist das hart oder wie, 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 wie nennst du sowas? So wie du das erzählst, ist es hart. Ja, aber wie willst du das denn sonst äh, so erzählen? Würdest du auch denken, du, du, willst, du bist doch besser als dein eigener Prophet, du würdest doch niemals ein kleines Baby angucken und ihm die Heirat versprechen. Was soll das, Mann? Äh, schau mal, ich bin nicht hochgekommen, um mit dir jetzt darüber weiter zu diskutieren. Ich frage Eigentlich, dich doch nur was eine ich nur Frage. Mitteilen wollte, ist, und das ich, wollte ich frage, ich frage ah, ja, dich doch nur I'm eine back, Frage an. Ja. I'm back. Kannst du Englisch? Ja. Yeah. Okay, dann stell deine Frage. What is what is he saying, brother? I mean, Yo, Rob. Yo, what's up, uh, Omar? Do you I'm know saying you? I listen to you guys all the time. I listen hey, to your to your guys all the time. Oh, And come on, in my no, opinion, I, are you okay, brother? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm good. I just woke up, so go easy on me, brother, because you know I'm still not recovered. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, what's, so what's, what, you, you joined in, uh, you're a Muslim, right, brother? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Okay, why are you a Muslim in What I'm gonna say is... Brother? Excuse me? Why are you still a Muslim in 2023? No, no, I... I... First of all, excuse me, I didn't come up to uh, answer a question, a question which you ask. I have a question between, uh, or I have a claim on you. You have a claim on me? Yeah. You have a claim on me? Or on you both. Uff. Ja, stell doch einfach die Frage, Mann. <laughs> ja, ich, ich würde gerne, ich würde gerne mein Anliegen äh, aussprechen, aber er spricht nur okay, dazu. Okay, brother, let him Egal. talk, let him talk, let him talk. Say, uh, say it in English, so, please. Alex, All right. I listen to you guys, to you both all the time. And in my opinion, you guys are very rude, very disrespectful about the Prophet wasallam. You think you are talking about evidences and but in my opinion, you are very disre disrespectful. So mm -hmm. one question. No, no, just a second Would before you, guys... you ask before you ask the question, brother, you called me disrespectful, right? Yeah, you called uh, brother and me disrespectful. I will go with you. Question, Bef uh, brother, I'm not attacking you, okay? Don't, please, I just woke up, I'm not here to fight. Just a civilized discussion. You are calling me rude, you are calling me disrespectful. But yeah. let's see if you're honest. When Allah calls me filthy, when Allah calls me worst of creatures, when Allah calls the Jews donkeys and monkeys, is that disrespectful to you? These two. Listen, I'm not, going, I'm not going to, I'm not, not going no, no, to deep dive in yeah, but muss ehrlich sein. Deswegen hat er gesagt, sei, uh, be honest. Deswegen hat er zu dir gesagt, be honest. Wenn du schon so mit so einer Argumentation um die Ecke kommst, was hältst du denn dann von Allah, der uns als das Schlimmste aller Viecher bezeichnet sozusagen und so und uh, die Juden und Christen so als Affen und Schweine beleidigt, siehst du, hat er vollkommen recht. Yeah, I want to Schau answer, mal, brother, you know, I'm not attacking in jedem, you, but I'm, I'm using your sagt, own argument. Darum geht es mir aber nicht. But brother, I'm using ja, your own argument against you. Also bist du hier mit zweierlei Maß. No. 
Nein, es geht darum, dass ich hochgekommen bin wegen einem Anliegen, was ich habe. Warum werde ich jetzt mit einer Frage konfrontiert, die das Thema, warum ich hochgekommen hey, bin, komplett you ablenkt? It, brother. You started it. You called us disrespectful. You started it. I, 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 I didn't even finish. Brother, 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 I didn't brother, even brother. finish. I know, I know, but I, I asked you, because you, you are brought it up. You are me with the questions. I, no, you are no, no, interrupting me with your questions. I will, I will allow you to ask. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody's running from you here. The thing is, you can't have a cake and eat it too. That's a, uh, a saying in English. We love to use it often as English speakers. When you say something, brother, you have to also accept it that it's the same thing that you claim, what you say from your mouth, people can use it against you. So when you, yeah. when you call me disrespectful, when you call my dear brother Amir here, who looks like a Muslim, by the way, still with this big beard of his, but that's okay. Uh, you call him disrespectful and you, and you say we, we are making fun, but Allah is making fun of us. He calls us all kinds of names. He curses us, he insults us. Uh, so, so my question is very honest, very sincere. When you call me disrespectful, is Allah disrespectful? When he calls me in chapter nine, ayah 28, and many other chapters and ayahs. He calls us names. I'm lower than an animal, according to Allah. Yeah. I'm lower than the worst animal. We are lower than the worst of creatures. That's what Allah called us. Filthy. I, I, so you have to be honest, brother. Are you going to take your words back or are you okay with Allah being disrespectful too? So we can Listen, move on. I, I can only repeat I'm myself. Listening. Your interruption now of not it's letting not me speak. It's not interrupting, Habibi. Look again, I again, once again. If you want, I can count your interruptions. But why I are you not answering? Of... Why are you so scared to answer, brother? Before we continue, Listen, I want to continue. I didn't with you. come up to answer a question. I came, I came up. So do, okay, to... then, then do you take your words back of me being disrespectful and brother Amir? You are rude, sagst du. Also ihr seid in dem Sinne äh, Leute, die einfach so über jemanden sprechen so und, und das ist unser Vorbild und dies und das und jenes. Warum redet ihr so? Warum redet ihr so ne? katastrophal in dem Sinne? Aber du hast selber kein Problem mit deinem Gott, der Andersgläubige am Beleidigen ist. Was, das ist. Deswegen sagen wir, du bist mit zweierlei Maß. Guck mal, Amir, es ist immer noch so, wie als hätte ich noch gar nicht gesprochen und hochgekommen. Ich habe zwei, drei Sätze, die ich aussprechen möchte und ich wurde schon beim ersten Satz interrupted. Jani, lasst mich doch zu Ende ausführen. Okay, bitte. let him, das sorry, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish his point. Let him finish his point and then you can ask him. Amir, he can finish his point, but I did not interrupt him. I only addressed, I addressed what he I, said I know, about I know us. Your, I know your but thought, he's too I know afraid. your uh, And I understand why he's afraid, brother. I understand why he's afraid because he doesn't want to say something that can be used again against him for the second time. Du willst nicht etwas falsches sagen, das ging nicht so, wenn es werden kann. Ja, genau. So, Omar, Nein, Omar, ich sage es I einfach think, aus Prinzip nicht, weil ich nicht aus. Weil We can agree that you're more respectful than your Allah that you worship. So now ask your question. We can agree that you're more respectful than your Allah that you worship. So now ask your question. Huh? We can agree that you're more. No, it wasn't me. It was him. Ah, it, it was, was him. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, he's getting. Noch mal raus. He's getting. Geh noch mal raus und komm noch mal rein. Yeah, he's getting an, a phone call, brother. Oh, he left. <laughs> he left. What happened? Good morning, on all. Good morning. Ex-Muslim, bist du machst du immer Vorteile gegen Moslems? Wir reden über einige Bestandteile im Islam. Verstehst du das nicht? Ich bin selber von Evangelisch auf Moslem gewechselt. Aber von wieso machst du Vorteile? Moslem, was ist das denn bitte? Ich habe wie oft, wie oft, ich habe bei dir in Live geschaut, wie oft du Fitna machst bei den Moslem. Ja, der, äh, derjenige, der wahrhaftig Fitna macht, ist doch Allah. Brother, can Falsch. you show him uh, Allah make Fitna? Yes. <lacht> <lacht> äh, äh, ze äh, zeig mir, wo wir jetzt das in der Koran steht, mein Freund. Sure, ja, sure, zeig dir das. Please show us in the Koran, where Allah makes fitna. Sure, no problem. You, what, uh, before, I show you, 
Before I show Dein you, brother, Gott allein ist der Urheber von Fitna machen. Yeah. Before I show you, brother, can you tell everybody du weißt what schon. Fitna means? What does Fitna du mean? weißt schon, Ende Leben wirst du die Stoffe bekommen, nicht ich. Omar, Omar, Omar. Before I show you the ayah, do you, can you explain to the audience what Fitna means? Is it good? Genau, Is it bad? Mal, was bedeutet Fitna? Auf Englisch kann ich nicht übersetzen, aber auf Deutsch. Ja, mach mal. Das Fitner heißt, wenn du zum Beispiel über andere Leute Scheiß laberst. Oder also das Religion, ist keine gute oder so. ne? Also das ist keine kein gute, gute Eigenschaft, Fitner zu machen, ne? Ist auch keine gute Eigenschaft. Zum Beispiel, ich mache auch nicht gegen okay. wer ist Christe, wer ist Vorurteile. Mache ich nicht. Ja, sehr gut. Also, also du sagst Fitner, wenn jemand Fitner macht, ist das so das allerletzte, ist er so die allerletzte Person, richtig? Genau. Okay, brother, show him where Allah makes Fitna. He says, somebody who, who makes Fitna is the worst of preachers and something like this. Yeah, is it, is, is Fitna curse. something, Amir, I want him to, to admit, is something, is Fitna something good or evil? No, he said it's evil. Evil, guys, you heard it, it's evil, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah. Here is, here is the Fitna of Allah, watch. Chapter 25. <laughs> Aya 20, Surat al furqan Aya 20. Ja, genau. Surat 25, Vers 20. Watch. Wa ja'alna ba'dakum li ba'din fitnatan. What is Allah saying? And we, Allah, caused among you... Allah is causing fitna among people. Allah möchte no. Fitna stiften zwischen den Menschen, hier siehst du? Fitna, hier. Fitna, no, Rob Christian, no, no. No, no, Rob no, no, really. no, no, Christian. No, 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 Rob Christian, no, no. Ihr seid am Ende bei dir. No, 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 Rob Christian, you have, you're a liar. Ex Ex-Muslim, bist du Iraner? Ex-Muslim, bist du Iraner? Ex-Muslim, ich hab dich was gefallen, bist du Iraner? You gotta love Muslims. Du hast die Kamera angemacht, Mann. You have to love the Muslims when they destroy their own Allah. Das merkst du ganz spät, mein Freund. Hä? Das merkst du sehr spät, wo ich kam. Omar, Omar, you said Fitna is evil, is bad. Is evil. They, is don't, they don't know what they are talking about. He yeah. comes in and say, oh, Rob Christian and Amir, you make Fitna. And I hear you and I listen to you all the time. And you do some Fitna. And then, and then I ask him, who is the one who make uh, Fitna? It's Allah. He's the, he's the author of, of Fitna making. Yeah, <laughs> Again, what? For the Arabic speakers, who is talking Allah? Wa ja'alna, we. Allah says we. Wa ja'alna ba'adakum li ba'din fitnatan. And we, meaning Allah, always we is Allah, right? Caused yes. among you people fitna, mischief. Mischief is evil, like, you know, remember in the, yes. movie, in the movie Marvels, uh, Loki? Allah is Loki. Allah is yes. the God of Mischief. Allah is one, Habibi. Radil. Mahlzeit. Du bist schon ein kleiner Verbrecher. Wie geht's dir? Gott segne dich und deine Familie. Danke, Bruder. Radil. Ja. Yeah. Habibi. Was geht ab? Gott Danke segne dich und deine Familie. <lacht> Gott segne dich auch. Allah soll dich segnen, mein Bruder. Mein Bruder Habibi, Bruder, komm zu Dubai. Habibi, komm zu Jannah, ist besser als Dubai. Komm zu Dubai. Mein wahrhaftiger Bruder im Islam, wie geht's dir? Komm zu Dubai, it's good weather here. Sun is shining. Wer redet da? Ach, ach, Amir, was ist das, Bruder? Bruder, Bruder, Bruder. Mein wahrhaftiger Bruder im Islam, Mashallah, dein Wahr. Mashallah, Mashallah. Mashallah, die Jesus. <laughs> Mashallah, die Jesus, brother. Mashallah, die Jesus. Mashallah, Mashallah. It's so Jesus, gorgeous. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Jesus. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Jesus. I mean, I mean, what kind of God... What kind of God Muslims literally worship? 
knowing that he is the one, the main guy behind Fitna. I mean, I mean, Amir, Amir, let us be honest for one second, honest, because you know, Christians are never honest according to Muslims. So let us for one second be honest in our lives. If, if Allah is the one behind Fitna, Allah is the one causing Fitna, cause among people Fitna, what is the job of Satan in Islam? <laughs> to make Fitna. No, I think Allah fired uh, 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 Satan. Satan. He made him Arbeit Los. Satan became Arbeit Los. <laughs> Arbeit Los and Allah took his job. Arbeit Los. Arbeit Los, brother. Can someone, can someone, can, uh, Amir, Amir, is there, is there a free, free uh, position at your work? Maybe we, we can put Satan at work because Satan is Arbeit Los now. Yeah, Satan is Allah, so because Allah is the because... author of fitna. He makes fitna of all of all mankind. I mean, what is this, brother? Brother, what is this? Anyway. Ramasud <laughs> Ali. Ah, ah. Ali. Job center for Satan. Yalla. Ali. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ali, Ali took uh, the flying carpet, brother. <laughs> brother, who are the true sect in Islam? The Sunni or Shia? What, what do you think? You, you, you need an honest answer from a, a an line. An honest Christian? answer from you. What do you think I, about this topic? Yeah, uh, the real Muslims, I have to be honest, are Shia, not Sunnis. The Shia, huh? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because they, they go in the book of the Sunni and they find the, that Muhammad said follow the Ahlul Bayt and something like this, no? No, uh, actually there are more arguments. N number one, Shia don't believe in the Quran of the Sunnis. Shia, listen careful guys, maybe this is new news for many people. Shia Muslims, they think that the Quran of today, of the Sunnis, is corrupted. Because corrupted. they believe that the Sunnis corrupted the Quran of Allah. So and Shia, they have the evidence. They have the evidence. And they have the evidence, yes. They have the evidence <laughs> from the Sunni books. So Shia say, you Sunnis corrupted the book of Allah. They admit it. And they are waiting for Imam Mahdi to come with the real Quran because the Quran of Sunni is corrupted. I've told them already. I said that the, the Shia believes that the Quran is corrupted and the of real course. Quran is with Imam Mahdi. Of course. Yeah, seht ihr, Dr. Sheikh Abu Amir hat die ganze die Wahrheit gesagt. Yes. So that is one of the main reasons for me why Shia are more honest. They, you know, Sunnis always say Taqiyah is for Shia only, but they lie. Shia are more honest because Sunnis, Sunnis among themselves, you know, like uh, Yasser Qadi, Dr. Yasser Qadi said, Dr. Yasser Qadi, the standard narrative, brother. <laughs> All the he narrative. He, he said we can't answer some questions. Yes, Sir Qadi, brother, in that interview, in that famous interview with Mimi Hijab, the golden, Mimi shower, Hijab. Boy, the golden shower boy, he admitted, he said, that we can't he answer the golden shower. <laughs> yes. He said, we cannot answer certain questions that people like Rob question us. We can't answer questions. But we, we Muslims, we Sunni Muslims, uh, we have a red line and we stop at the red line, but we, you and me, Amir, we put our left foot over the red line and we cross it and we ask the important questions, which people like Yasser Qadi can never answer <laughs> because they know they can't answer them. So what they do, do uh, brother, don't talk about it in public, brother. Yeah, uh, don't talk about it in public. Yes, yeah, you know. Keep it, keep it, keep it behind closed doors, yeah, Akhi. Don't yes. say it publicly. <laughs> I mean, how dishonest you can be, no? Yes, of course, brother. Dishonest. Uh, I mean, uh, this. If if dishonest is for Satan, that means Satan in Islam is cute because Allah took his job, and uh, Satan is now at the job center looking for a job. <laughs> Job center. <laughs> 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 Satan is Arbeitslos in Islam. Yes. 
Who, brother, brother, who wanna uh, who wanna uh, t uh, make the people go astray? Is it Satan or is it Allah? Allah. I told Not you, Satan. Satan, Satan is is jobless. Satan is jobless, huh? Yeah, 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 of course. Allah is the one who is, uh, he is another name of Allah. Because we are talking about the names of Allah, you are forcing me, brother, to show you more names. Look, Surah, Surah number 14. Chapter number 14, if we go there, Ayah 4, Chapter 14, Ayah 4, <clears throat> Allah sends astray whoever, whoever he wills. Look, 14, Surah Ibrahim, Ayah number four. Allah, then Allah sends astray, astray. whomever he wills, and he guides whoever, whoever he wills. So Allah ja, took ihr? the job of Satan. Seht ihr Leute, also der Allah führt in die Irre, wen er will und leitet recht, wen er will. Das ist ein willkürlicher Gott. Der sagt, ja gut, auf dich habe ich Bock, ja komm, dich leite ich äh, recht. Und in anderen, äh, auf dich habe ich keinen Bock und du wirst irre geleitet. <lacht> And this is one of the names of Allah, by the way. Allah is the Mudil. Al -Mudil yeah, Al Mudil, the Al Mudil, he's the, he's the, uh, who the makes people astray, huh? Yeah, misguider, the misguider. Misguider, yes, misguider. Do you see why I say Allah took the job of Satan and Satan is now a job center? Looking yeah, for the job. Yeah, see, yeah, Allah has the job of Satan übernommen and führt the Menschen in the irre. <laughs> uh -huh. This is one of the names of Allah, brother. And Allah has very beautiful names. Did you know that? Yes, yes. Allah, look guys. Allah has very beautiful names. Look, look guys. Here is Allah's names. At least five. I can give you more, but I gave you five. Here is a beautiful list. Allah is Al-Makir. You know, all of you know this, the deceiver. Allah, we showed you Al-Fatan, the one who causes fitna, the mischief maker. 2520. Uh, Allah is Al Mutakabir, the arrogant. That's his name. It's in the Quran. All of these names are in the Quran, by the way, guys. All of these names of Allah are on the, in the Quran. Adar, the distresser. Allah causes uh, stress for you. He distresses you. And Al Muzil that we just showed you, chapter fourteen, ayah four. Allah is the misleader, the humiliator. Al Muzil. Al-Mudil. al what is the name of Allah Al-Mutakabbir? What is that? Al-Mutakabbir. Arrogant. <laughs> Look me at ah, oh, oh. Allah uh, nennt sich selber der Arrogante. <laughs> uh, Allah. Arrogante. He smells. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Allah, Allah is big, brother. <laughs> Mutakabbir. Uh, what is the proud one? The proud one, that is Al Mutakabir. The proud one. Al Mutakabir is the proud one, huh? Arrogant and proud, the same, brother. Uh, mm. Arrogant and proud, okay. Yeah. Wow, what what beautiful names Allah have, huh? Oof, yes. oof, oof, oof. I'm I'm jealous. No. <laughs> Can you show us the real name of Isa? Who is Isa? Isa. Isa. Who is this Isa in Islam? I don't know, brother. Manidri. Uh, well, we know if we go to the if we go and we study, we find what it means. Let me see if I can show you, brother. Brother, you ask difficult questions, brother. Who is this Isa? Who is Isa? Here is the Isa. Here, here. If we go to. Who is this Isa in Islam? 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 Who is this Isa Lisan al Arab. Yes. The number one. The tongue, the tongue of the Arabs. Tongue of the Arabs, yes. The number okay, one. Lisan official, al Arab, yeah. Number one official classical dictionary. Number one. Okay. Lisan al Arab, the tongue of the Arab. The tongue, Lisan, the tongue of the Arab. That's the dictionary. Classical. Number one. Even Muslim scholars go to this one. We go there, we see here. Al Ais, Isa Al Ais, Al Ais. That's where Isa comes from. Al Ais, Al Ais. Ma Al Fahl, meaning. I don't want to say it today. I just woke up. But this is a curse. They curse uh, Jesus. It's an insult. So guys, never ever 
except from Muslims, that your Jesus of the Bible is called Isa, because it's a huge curse, huge insult. What do you call insult in German? Uh, Beleidigung. Beleidigung, yeah, Beleidigung. <laughs> Beleidigung. Uh, brother, why you Muslims curse Isa, brother, uh, Jesus, brother? Because they hate Jesus, huh? They hate Jesus. So, big chance. Now, here's the reason behind it. How Muhammad, call, why, why Muhammad called uh, Jesus Isa? Probably, brother, Muhammad was listening to the Jews of Medina. Jews hate uh, Jesus, right? Jews. I, hate I'll be back as soon as possible. Sure, brother. Go ahead, Let me explain go ahead, it. Brother. Yeah, no problem, Habibi. Uh, you are at work. We understand that. You kafir. But it's okay. <laughs> 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 So, because probably Muhammad was talking to the Jews of Medina, and don't forget his nickname was the ear. Muhammad's nickname was the ear. He was always listening, and he was taking notes, and he made it Islam, Quran. Okay. So probably Muhammad, with the ear, he heard it from the Jews. He thinking that that's the real name of Jesus. So he didn't know that it's an insult, and when he put it in Quran. He thought this is the name of Jesus in Hebrew. He didn't know Hebrew. He didn't know Aramaic. That's how. So Isa means sperm. Isa means sperm of a big animal, an animal that you can ride. For example, a stallion, a male horse, a, a, a male camel. That's what fahl means. Ma al fahl, ma al fahl, the semen. The sperm of a big animal, either a camel or a big uh, horse, stallion, whatever. So, Ozan, stop calling, uh, uh, stop using the word Isa, brother. Isa means semen. Don't be a hypocrite. <clears throat> I'm not translating wrong. If you know a little bit Arabic, brother, look. Al-Is, Ma Al-Fahl. So I, it's not my problem that you Muslims, you Muzis, don't know Arabic. This is Lisan Al-Arab. Learn Arabic. And if you learn Arabic, you'll leave Islam, all of you. Al-Is, Ma Al-Fahl. The semen, water, i.e. the semen of a stallion. Did you catch it? What is the real name of Jesus in Arabic? Anybody? What is the real name of Jesus in Arabic? Anyone? In the chat? What is the real name of Jesus in Arabic? In Arabic, in Arabic. Yeshua. Yeshua. Which comes from Yeshua. Okay? Yeshua. Yeshua. Okay? Here is the name of Jesus in Arabic. And look, in Aramaic, it looks like this. In Aramaic, you write Jesus like this. Do you notice something, guys? Look at, look at the name. Yeshua. Do you, do you see something? Of course, I'm sure. I'm an Aramaic speaker, and I speak Arabic. I speak the language of Jesus. So, yes, I am very sure. It looks like Muhammad in Aramaic. Do you see it? Aramaic, early AD Aramaic, in the time of Jesus, that's the way you wrote Jesus. Yeshua. So Muhammad is actually the name of Jesus. Muhammad is the name of Jesus in Arabic. Muhammad is the name of Jesus. This is the title. It's the divine godly title. So when Muhammad stole the name, because that was not his real name. Remember, Muhammad's name was Qutham. Muhammad's name, let me type it out in the chat, guys. Qutham. Qutham. That was the real name of Muhammad for 40 long years. When he adopted the divine title of Jesus, he became the praised one. But the praised one is Yeshua. Yeshua in Arabic. So who is Isa? This is false name. Uh, False. Who is Isa? 
Real name is Yeshua. Yeshua. Do you see it? This is the real name. This is semen. This is means semen. Do you see, guys, even the name they stole from Jesus? So Muhammad, guys, he wanted to be Jesus. Muhammad wanted to be Jesus in Aramaic. Do you see it? Compare the name. Let us compare the name, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Don't get shocked. What I'm about to show you, don't get shocked. Okay, guys? Look. Don't get shocked. Challenge you to not get shocked. Look, Muhammad in Arabic. Same. Look the same, exactly, look. This is the name of Jesus in Aramaic. This is the name of Muhammad in Arabic. What's the difference? Show me. Same. Do you see it, guys? Yes, I told you to not be shocked. Everything is stolen, guys. The name is stolen. So, in other words, guys, the original Quran didn't talk about Muhammad, it talked about Jesus. The original Quran in Aramaic, because remember, the original Quran was not in Arabic. Oh, no, 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 no. The original Quran was in Aramaic. And whenever you see Muhammad in the Quran, it's about Jesus. But so that's a different topic for later. That's a different topic for later. A very huge topic. Of course, the Quran is from the Bible. Everything is about Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. There is no Muhammad guy. Muhammad is a fabrication, to be honest with you. But people who know me, I love to go with the Muslim arguments. <laughs> I leave that topic for people like Brother Jay Smith. You know him. He loves to work with many other people like Sister Hatun. You know, you know him, right, guys? That's his field. I don't like to talk about that, those topics. This guy, remember him? Muhammad was really Jesus, do you see? He's right. Brother J. Smith is right when he said Muhammad was really Jesus. Because everything is stolen from Jesus. Jesus is always the key. It's him. It's always about him. Who do you mean? Who, who, who you, who, what do you mean he didn't know Aramaic? Guys, Muhammad did not exist. How can someone who does not exist I mean, fill the dots. But that's not my field. I don't talk about these things. I talk, people who know me, I read Islamic books, and I destroy Islam from the Islamic books. That's my job. Did you catch it? But I myself, be I, I believe that Muhammad did not exist. I myself believe there is nothing called Muhammad. It's the name of Jesus. Just type in, if you want to have it, guys, just type in, in Google, Jesus Muhammad Aramaic, and you'll get this picture. You'll get this picture, guys. Jesus Muhammad Aramaic, and you'll get the picture, this picture. It's not that hard. <clears throat> Thank you for the donations, guys. God bless you. Uh, someone is asking... Can you prove to us that the first Quran was Aramaic? Yes, yeah, sure. I can prove, but I told you it's not my it's not my field. I don't like to talk about it, but I can. <clears throat> I can give you some uh, some examples, I can give you some examples, for example, guys, for example, for example, what is Quran, the word Quran, what is the meaning of Quran, anyone, Do the, the what is the meaning of Quran, anybody? In the chat, what is the meaning of Quran? <clears throat> no, look, guys, 
It's an Aramaic word. Quran was never an Arabic word to begin with. Always Aramaic, always. Always. Quriana or Quriono. When we in Aramaic say Quriono or Quriana, depends on the dialect. Sam Shamoon will say Quriana. I, as an Aramaic, I say Quriono. Sam Shamoon, a Syrian, he says Quriana. Faulus Shliho. The lectionary, the book of the Apostle Paul, as example. So they stole even the word Quran from us. Do you see it, guys? Boom, boom. Boom, uh, boom. Brother, uh, Allah said this is a clear Arabic uh, book, huh? Yeah, In clear, clear Arabic uh, language. <laughs> yeah, it's very clear. <laughs> But thousands of words are Aramaic language. Yes. Have you, Amir, have you ever heard of uh, the Caliph Muawiyah? Caliph Muawiyah? Oh, he's gone again? <clears throat> Guys, one of the first Caliphs, one of the very first Caliphs we found in Syria, in Syria, guys, there are bath. There's a place where you could bath back in the old days. They found a clay tablet of Maawiya, literally Maawiya, one, one of the first caliphs. What, how, look how it starts with a cross. <laughs> why, why would a letter about Maawiya, Caliph Maawiya, start with a cross? Uh oh. Uh oh. Caliph Muawiyah was a Christian? Caliph Muawiyah was a Christian? Caliph Muawiyah turns out to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. You can literally find this online, guys. Yes. Wow, exactly. Wow. When I saw this the first time, I was shocked. When I saw this, let me let me make it more clear for everybody, guys. Maybe this is new. This is shocking stuff. I know, but when Rob Christian comes up, it's always shocking. Uh, okay, look I'm I'm back. What did you say? Welcome back, Amir. Yeah, look at this, brother. Do you see this? This is the screen uh, big big enough, uh, clear enough? Yes, 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 yes. This is a clay tablet, a clay tablet from the time of Maawiyah, the Caliph Maawiyah. You heard of him, right? He was one of the first caliph. So you had first uh, Abu Bakr, yes. uh, Omar, the Shia, the Shia Ali, hate him, huh? Ali, the Shia Ali, hate Ali. him. Yeah, the father, uh, the father uh, of Yazid. Yeah, look, it starts with the letter. It's a, a letter, basically. It's a, sp a speech about Amawiya. It starts with a cross, Christian cross. And this is in 663 AD Syria, found in Syria. From wow. 663 AD. Now, guys, what does the text say? Because this text says something. As you see, it starts with a cross. Starting with a cross. In the days of Abdullah, the servant of God, Muawiyah, the commander of the faithful, the hot baths, because this is at the hot baths place in Syria. They used to bath there, take a shower. Of the people there were saved and rebuilt by Abdullah son of Abu Semus, Abu Hashim, the counselor. Even the names are uh, read. On the fifth of the month of December, the second day of the sixth year of the indiction, in the year seven to six of the colony, according to the Arabs, the forty second year for the healing of the sick under blah blah blah. Okay, but you see, it starts here with the cross, and it's talking about Maawiyah in the days of Maawiyah. Hmm, fishy, 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 strange, strange, very strange that you, that starts with a cross. And Man. we even have coins. Because have they coins. love the cross, huh? Yeah. We, look at these, yeah. these early cro uh, coins, brother, look. You see? These are coins. What are crosses doing on the coins? 
But the, I said, guys, this is not my field. I don't like but, to talk brother, about this. Did, uh, brother, the, 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 question of, uh, the question of the question, did Muhammad exist? Yeah. Did Muhammad exist? I myself don't believe that he exists. But I, I don't want like to talk about it. I you myself too. Because, because I want to go with the Muslim argument. Because you, you need to know that when you say to a Muslim, Muhammad did not exist, he will laugh. So you have to show him what his books say. Because Muslims don't care about historical evidence. Muslims don't care about historical evidence. <laughs> they are evidence. resistant. They are yeah. resistant from, from their sources. <laughs> even, even show me one map, uh, brother, brother Amir. You can, everybody can record my voice. Show me one map from the 6th or 7th century where it says Mecca on the map. Show me, and I will take my Shahada right now. Did, did Mecca exist in, in, in the 6th or 7th century? What about the 5th century? What about the 4th? That means Mecca doesn't me exist the at the 5th, 6th century? Mecca did not exist. Mecca did not exist. So if Mecca did not exist, was there something called Muhammad? Of course not. Now, some, some people might argue that Muhammad lived up north, but that's a totally different topic for another time. Some people argue, say, Muhammad did not live in Mecca, he lived in Jordan, Petra. But that's a different topic. I believe that Muhammad is Jesus, is the divine title of Jesus. That's what I believe. Rob Christian, are you a Christian prince? Oh man, that's too much honor, bro. <laughs> that's too much honor. Oh. He's my brother, though, from a different mother. Like Amir, he's this Kafir. He's my brother from a different mother. <laughs> All the Kafirs are the brothers of Rob. <laughs> All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Kufar are the brothers of Rome. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Alhamdulillah, Jesus, brother. Alhamdulillah, Jesus. Alhamdulillah, Jesus. But you guys like the Aramaic stuff, huh? You guys love the Aramaic stuff. Oof. I didn't know that. That you guys love the Aramaic so much. For me to show you about Aramaic in the Quran. Let me give you one more, more spoiler, Amir. Let me give you one more spoiler about Aramaic in the Quran. It's very, it's very academic, guys. I don't want to butcher your minds in the morning. I'm not, I'm not sure how old, how, how, what the hour is at your uh, place, guys, because I'm not in Germany. I don't know. But I don't want to kill your brains. Here's too early for me, but that's okay. Look, there is in the Quran, guys, in chapter 5, I have 58. Matter of fact, let me open the Quran to show you. If we go to Quran.com, or you can open your own Qurans, Muslims, if you don't believe me. Chapter 5, Surah Al Ma'idah, ayah number 58. Before I show you, let me first show you the mistake in the Quran. Rob, Quran has mistakes? Yes. Look. If we go to chapter 5, <laughs> let me open You're a liar. You liar! <laughs> Look, guys, Quran.com, okay? Not RobChristian.com, <laughs> Quran.com. Chapter 5. So, 558. 558. Brother, my German is good, brother. 558. Yeah. Look, as salawat, the prayer. My English is not so good. Amir, yeah. könntest du, könntest du ein bisschen öfter, uh, erstmal, morgen, ich grüße dich. Gottes Segen sei mit dir. Aber könntest du mir den Gefallen tun? Könntest du ein bisschen mehr ins Deutsche übersetzen? Weil ich an einigen Stellen habe es bei meinen Vokabeln. Weißt du, wie ich meine? Hm? Ja. Aber, aber ich fand das vorhin so interessant. Äh, ich kriege hier etwas ganz stark mit. Also mal ganz ehrlich, du kriegst ja hier wirklich den Islam mit ganz kurzen, bündigen Sachen auseinandergelegt. Habe ich das sag mal vorhin richtig verstanden? Äh... Der ja, Mutter sobald du Arabisch sprichst, sobald du Arabisch sprichst, nimmt das Ganze nochmal andere Ausmaße, ne? weil du kannst den Koran dann auf Arabisch lesen, du kannst die äh, Schriften aufschlagen, du kannst lesen, was die Gelehrten sagen und nicht, was diese äh, Gelehrten hier äh, dir übersetzen, was diese falschen Übersetzungen sind ne? und dir das verheimlichen. 
<lacht> ja, weil da, da möchte ich mal drauf eingehen, weil du hast was ganz toll, toll ist es nicht, aber was sehr Interessantes gesagt. So habe ich das richtig verstanden. Also äh, der, der, äh, ach Mensch, ich jetzt nicht, der Mohammed wollte ich schon sagen. <lacht> äh, wer, wer war dafür, für, dafür mit äh, Kindern Unzucht zu treiben? Wie ist er nochmal? Du musst mal lauter sprechen. Ich sag, wer war dafür, mit Kindern Unzucht zu betreiben? Wie hieß er nochmal, was du vorhin angesprochen hast? Wer, wer war dafür zuständig, mit Kindern Unzucht zu treiben? Nein. Was? <lacht> was hast du, du, hast vorhin, du hast vorhin, du hast vorhin was ausgeführt, was äh, mit dem Säugling, was im Kindesalter äh, aus den Windeln gerade raus ist. Ja. So, wie hieß der Typ nochmal? Der Mohammed nicht, sondern? Also das Kind, meinst du, wie das Kind hieß? Nein, der, 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 der Erwachsene, der das machen wollte, Mensch. Ach, du meinst, über den wir geredet haben, hier, ja. der Rapper, meinst du? Der, der Sinan. Ich, ich weiß nicht, ich habe den Namen nicht mitgekriegt, aber ich fand es auf jeden Fall, sag mal, steht das da so wirklich im Koran drin, dass man das... Im Koran nicht, das steht in den Traditionen, bei den Gelehrten drin, was Mohammed so getan hat. Alles klar, jetzt verstehe ich das. Gut, da bin ich nämlich raus gewesen. Ich habe das nämlich nicht richtig verstanden, akustisch. Aber am Ende, ja, okay. am, am Ende das Gespräch ist schon so weit fortgeschritten und ich bin da schon so lange raus, von daher, ich würde erstmal wieder runtergehen. Okay, alles klar. Gott segne und, und, dich. Ciao. Und könntest du mir den Gefallen tun, bitte? Weil der Rob, der scheint... Ich versuche, so gut es geht, ich versuche, so gut es geht zu übersetzen. Ich versuche, so gut es geht zu übersetzen. Dank dir, dank dir. Das wäre toll. Ja. Ciao. Okay, Brother. But that was ah. about, but okay. <lacht> yeah. No, uh, because he said it, it is uh, really worthy. But uh, I try to uh, explain it a little more in German and mm -hmm. to translate it a little bit more. No? Yeah. But it's hard and difficult for me no? because uh, yeah. English is not my, uh, my first language, you know. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch, ja, aber genau stimmt, das ist ein bisschen schwierig für mir. Okay? <laughs> Ich spreche ein bisschen, nicht viel, okay? So, tut, mir, tut, mir leid, tut mir leid. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, look. Here is chapter 5, Aya 58, before we got uh, interrupted. Chapter 5, not a Toba, this is, uh, you know, the website is a little bit strange. It's Surat al maida okay? Chapter 5, Aya 58. Assalamu alaikum. Also, Sura 5, Vers, Sura 5, Vers 58. Ja. Yeah. Sura 5, Vers 58, ja. Yeah. What, what, uh, this what word, is your point? You this is the word, Assalat. Assalat, okay. the prayer. Now, this, when you, when you, when, when you ask someone, an Arabic speaker, to write Salat, and he writes like this, uh, the teacher will give him an F. If you go to university, you wrote, write the word in Arabic, the prayer, they will give you an F, because this is not the way to write. <laughs> also, wenn ihr dieses Wort in einer Universität schreibt, dann geben die euch eine 5. <laughs> yes. They will give you, they, 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 will, they will say to you, go back to kindergarten and write, <laughs> learn how to write the word, prayer. And they will go to kindergarten and learn how to so nicht zu schreiben. Uh, mistake. Allah makes mistakes, yes, guys. Allah makes mistakes. Allah, Allah macht nur Fehler. Selbst im sprachlichen Gebrauch ist nur Fehler sind dort drin. Yeah, because guys, when you write the word prayer, a salat, correctly, as -salat. Like Allah. This is how to write it. Look, the green, always green means good. A salat. This is the way to, to write it correctly. Now, if we go back, look how it's written. Totally different. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it mistake? <laughs> but what can we expect from Allah? Allah is uh, uh, an illiterate like his prophet, brother. You have to understand, okay? Take it easy on Allah. Allah is learning. <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. This is the way to correctly write the word salat. Now, the problem is, it's not only grammatical or spelling mistake, because it's Aramaic. Aha! 
Look, guys. Arami Chagata. Aha. Sloto. Allah writes it. This is how Allah writes it in the ayah in chapter 5. Ayah 58. But the correct way in the Arabic to write it like this. Ha uh ha. -huh. Now, if there are Aramaic speakers, are there Oromoye with me? Oromoye, Athuroye? Always, <laughs> didn't I tell you always the Aramaic? Always Aramaic. Is here, oh, is here ah. jemand, uh, is here an Aramea drinne, der Arabisch lesen kann, der das bestätigen kann? I am one, I can read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, you are one, but is any anybody here to uh, read it? Uh, Gibt es jemanden, der das auch lesen kann? Aromoye, Aromoye, why are you? Aromoye, Athuroye, why are you? Yalla, uh, Gabore. Okay, so brother, I said to you, and everybody heard me, the original Quran, brother, it was in Aramaic, not in Arabic. Original Quran was in Aramaic. It's basically a book that the people used to sing you know when you go to the orthodox or catholic churches especially orthodox they they muhammad stole even the way to recite it when yes they, yes from, from the orthodox uh, uh aramaic aramaic people they sing like uh, muhammad recitation huh exactly so muhammad if muhammad existed he stole it from us from the christians the Aha, way even to recite daher, it, the muhammad that that's from the aramean alles um, Kopiert yes. und von ihnen genommen, auch die Rezitation und alles, ne? Yes, yes, yes. Even bowing down, Raqqa, it's all, those, all everything's from us. From the Jews and us, okay? So guys, why, it's not only a, a, a spelling mistake, the way to write, the correct way to write the word prayer, prayer, as you see, even my child can write Arabic better than Allah. Even my child, my son, <laughs> knows Arabic better than Allah. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Look, you already see, you don't need to know Arabic to see already here a mistake. Here you have an O, here there's no O. Here you have a, 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 an Alif, here is no Alif. So, a disaster. Disaster, right? Correct? Hefty. Incorrect. But this is an it's Arabic hefty. word. And here's why. Yes. To correctly read it, guys, this one says a salat. This is why it's correct. This one is a, a slot. What is a slot? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what is slot. <laughs> slot or slot or the prayer? We Aramaic speakers, we Syriac Aramaic speakers, we know because it's an Aramaic word. Slotho. Prayer. Slotho. Prayer. Aha! Aha! Ihr Muslime, ihr ein Haufen von Lügnern seid ihr. Ey. Der Koran ist perfektes Arabisch. Da ist alles Arabisch drin. Ey. Ja, ja. <lacht> bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ihr seid ein Haufen von Lügnern. Ey. Ihr seid so eine täuschlerische Bande. Ey. Das kann sich keiner vorstellen. Boom, boom. <clears throat> there you go. Do you understand, guys, why we say the Aramaic has always been the original? There is nothing called Arab Arabic Quran, guys. Later, much later, they took the Aramaic Quran, the original Aramaic Quran, and they rechanged it. They changed it to, into Arabic. Do you understand? Because it was a Christian book. Wow, there was thank you. Nothing called Muhammad. For... There was nothing called Muhammad. Muhammad did not exist. Listen, guys. Muhammad did not exist, yes. Hast du das gerade mitbekommen? Uncomfortable. Un 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 uh, unstoppable. It was, get up. Hast du das gerade mitbekommen? Boah, ich hab mich, ich hab wegen was anderes äh, Anfrage geschickt. Ich wollte dich fragen, hast du Bock auf einen Boxkampf bei Universum? Du und ich. Das ist doch nicht normal. Weil ich kann deine hässliche Fresse ehrlich gesagt nicht mehr ertragen. Du, du bist der größte ja, Fritz, den ich in meinem Leben gesehen aber habe. Nur wenn du, aber nur wenn du dann äh, erstmal den Koran hast, wenn ich schon mir rezitiere. Nein, nein, guck mal, du sagst, die Muslime unterdrücken Christen und äh, wir versuchen die immer vom äh, Islam zu überzeugen, aber du bist hier unterwegs und beleidigst die ganze Zeit Muslime. 
Okay, what wo habe ich die beleidigt? What is what is this guy saying? Wenn ich sage, ihr seid ein Haufen von Lügner, dann meine ich diese Dauerteams, nicht dich, du hast ja gar nichts damit zu tun. Aber du sagst ihr suchen Christen vom Islam zu überzeugen, ist das schlimm, ne? <lacht> he said, did you notice what he said to me? No, I, I'm, mein, mein, mein Deutsch ist nicht, that's, ist nicht gut, Bruder. Ich verstehe yeah, nicht. He said, he said, do you have, uh, do you have, uh, do you have, uh, do you want to make a, a box fight with me in, in, uh, <laughs> in TV? <laughs> yes, 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 we, we want, we want. Come on, come on, come here. Uh, a, a, Maroc uh, a Moroccan guy. Now uh, a Moroccan guy is coming here. <laughs> Arabic speaker. Oh, no, I'm here. Uh, Asahbi, kannst du Arabisch? Tachke Arabi? Tachke Arabi? Tachke Arabi? Tachke Arabi, natürlich kannst du Arabisch. Ah, Bruder, er spricht Arabisch. Ja, ja, Mosseri? Rob Christian, alle wissen, es ist ein Chicken Burger. Ist das ein Chicken Burger? Oh, was ist das für ein Prügelter? Wisst es? Das ist ein Polemiker, er hat richtig Ahnung von Islam und alles. Was hat er Ahnung? Islam hat er auch, ne? Ja, ja, der hat richtig Ahnung, ne? Boah, ich schwöre, sein Name erinnert mich an so einen Burgerladen, direkt. Hör <lacht> auf damit, das sagt er. <lacht> benimm dich, benimm dich! Kann der nur Englisch, oder was? Äh, der kann Arabisch, sprich mal mit dem Arabisch. Wenn du den Englisch kannst, kriegst du krass Englisch. Ja, mach krass, zeig mal dein krass Englisch. Rob Christian, are you fine, my friend? Okay, what about you, my friend? Watch your house in the house and house in the house. What are you, why you find your house in the house? Housing? A house in the house in the house in the house. The Moroccan guy is so funny. Yeah, Christian. My friend, do you speak English good or, or no? No, a little bit like you. Yo, man, but my English is very good, man. Your, your English is better than my English, brother. Yes, bro, yes, my English is very, very, very good. Good, yeah. good, brother. So, what's your point, brother? Are you a Muslim? Do you speak Arabic or Arab? A little bit, not a little bit. A little bit, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure, you're not sure. I'm not sure, you're not sure. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. طبون الله يلعن البابك ويتقال يا غيور شو مشيتروني ايو ايو مسلم سيتروني الحمد لله ماي براد الحمد لله الحمد لله جيزوس برادا الحمد لله جيزوس الحمد لله جيزوس برادا استغفر الله استغفر لي جيزوس برادا استغفر لي جيزوس استغفر لي جيزوس Bruder, du bist Moslem, Bruder. Rob, ich sag dir ehrlich, du bist Moslem, ich rede es in deinen Haaren, Bruder. Ich seh nur deinen Namen, Rob Christian, Bruder. Weißt du, wie gut er sich auskennt? Das sagt mir heftig. Wirklich, der kennt sich wirklich dermaßen gut aus. Unglaublich. Ja, mit Burgersoßen vielleicht, aber nicht mit dem Islam. Nee, der hat den Islam gerade vor unseren Augen ruiniert. Der hat den Islam gerade komplett auseinandergenommen. Ja, der kann gar nichts machen. Ich sag dir ehrlich. Ja, okay, komm jetzt, hör auf mit deinem Unsinn, ey. Mach's gut, das ist Albi. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Er ist ein Clown, Bro. He's, he's a very funny guy. I, I love him. I, I, I really like him. <laughs> okay. Maybe he can drink some uh, some cam camel urine. We can send him some, some camel, camel urine. I, I, maybe next time I give him some camel urine that he can uh, drink and become healthy, fat and healthy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> is there any is there any Muslim who is uh, not funny? A serious Muslim? A there? serious Muslim. Gibt es hier einen echten Muslim, der hier reinkommt, wenn man ein normales Gespräch führen will? Einen einzigen! Yes. Yes, here I am. Come on, uh, he doesn't have 1000 uh, subscribers. Hmm. I du brauchst 1000 Abonnenten. Du brauchst 1000 Abonnenten, um hier reinzukommen. 
يلا بينا يلا 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 But it's very hard to, uh, brother, but it's very hard to be, uh, um, to be a Muslim and to follow Muhammad in this, um, in this time. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when I uh, read the life of Muhammad for, from Ibn Ishaq, I uh, really was shocked. I really was shocked in my Muslim time, you know. I thought when this is my role model, I have to follow him. I have to follow him exactly what he did. When I don't can do it, why I why I stay in Islam, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, Amir, you said you you read Surah uh, Ar Rasul by Ibn Hisham Ibn Ishaq, right? Yes. How, did you read all of it? All of it, yes. All of it. I sure, bro. It is a translation in German. I, I don't know if it is the true or not, but mm. uh, uh, the title of the name was The Life of Muhammad from Ibn Ishaq. Yeah, I have it here in front of me, but I'm, I'm interested. Have you ever seen uh, a disastrous information about the Gospel of John? In the Gospel of John? Yes. Okay, show me. Uh, brother, don't make accident, okay? You're driving, don't make accident if I show you. Okay? No, I'm here at the red light. Okay. The red light district. <laughs> uh, in, you're in Jannah? <laughs> in Jannah? Stay there, bro. I don't want to come near you. <laughs> <laughs> Jannah, brother, Las Vegas? <laughs> Jannah, brother, Las Vegas. Yalla, come to here, come to Mecca. Come to Dubai of Allah, yeah. <laughs> the life of Muhammad, the life of Shaitan, uh, Muhammad. A translation of Ishaq Sirat al Rasul. And this is the English translation, as you see. That's the same book, by the way. You see that? Oh, okay. Don't make accidents. Stop, okay? Don't drive. Because now you're going to get shocked. If also, jetzt gehen wir in das Leben von Muhammad rein. Auf der Seite 104. Page in English translation, page 104. Also, in der englischen, in der englischen Übersetzung ist es auf der Seite 104. Ich glaube, in Deutsch ist es auch. Now, before I show you the page, uh, brother uh, Amir, Muslims always say nobody knows who wrote the Gospel of John, right? Yes. How many times have you heard it? Many times, right? Thousand times. Thousand times, but watch. Nobody Some knows who wrote Mark. Nobody knows who wrote Matthew. Nobody knows who yeah, wrote Luke. Exactly. Yeah, but watch. What they, this is? This book is older than the Quran. This book is older than the Quran. Watch. It is extracted from what John the Apostle. It is extracted from what John the Apostle set down for them, meaning the Christians, when he. John wrote the Gospel of John for them. <laughs> From the Testament of Jesus, son of Miriam, Mary, they call him Mary. Is it? Aha, I thought Johannes that the John is Evangelium is geschrieben. Aber hier sagt Ibn Isaac auf der Seite 104, dass der Johannes dieses Evangelium geschrieben hat. Boom, boom. <laughs> Page 104, guys. 104. So Muslims never ever again say we don't know who John is. Because this book in front of us is older than the Quran. And also, the life of Muhammad is older than also, uh, the, the book of right. John. Yes. Now, brother, here is more. I'm not finished. Here is more secrets. On the same page, do you see this part? This entire huge part? Yes. This is the Gospel of John, chapter 15, 23, all the way to chapter 16, verse 1 of John. Boom! Wow. The entire brother. Ibn, in other words, guys, Ibn Ishaq quotes John, chapter 15, verse 23, all the way to John 16, verse 1, word for word. Heftig. And we know that John wrote John.
And he got like Vez, John. He, somebody says in the in the commentary section, like Vez, John. Like who is John? <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know that John is Johannes. Johannes, man. <laughs> Muslims, it's time to read your books, Muslims. Time to read your, your books. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that someone like Rob Christian have to read your books for you and teach you your own books. Unfassbar. Shame on you that you don't know your books. That mean, brother, that mean, let, let me uh, think about it. Uh, that mean, uh, Ibn Ishaq uh, quotes, uh, quotes uh, John 15, 23, 23 to uh, John 16, 1. Yes. And he says the author of uh, the Gospel of John is John himself. Boom. But why Muslims say we doesn't know who wrote John? Because Muslims don't read their books. <laughs> <laughs> Muslims are jahil like Allah and Muhammad. Hey, you seid so krass, you Muslims. Ne? Das ist unfassbar. Ihr ganzen Tower Teams, ihr seid den ganzen Tag nur am Lügen und am Tahrir und ja, das ist doch nicht normal. Ne? This is the book again, guys. The life of Muhammad, Sirat al Rasul. Okay, Sirat al Rasul. Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Isham. Sirat al Rasul, Li Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Isham. <clears throat> Page 104, translation English. So, Muslims, stop, stop, stop these silly arguments. Stop. You are, you are burying yourselves. Stop. Uh, did you notice? Did you notice that the Muslims uh, make takfir of uh, uh, Yasser Qadi? Yes. He says he's oh. a champion. <laughs> yes, yes. Kadab, Munafak, even they call him even Zindiq. Heretic. Zindiq. That's is not the story. This is Yasser Qadi, the last kind of interview with Mohammed Hijab geführt hat. They are ultra wissen is also 10 million more wissen as the gesamte muslimische Umma here of the world. And then betiteln die ihn als, als Ungläubigen, als Kerfel. Unglaublich, ne? Die macht da viel auf den. Weil er die Wahrheit ausgesprochen hat, dass der Islam Ungereimtheiten in den Überlieferungen hat. Löcher in den Überlieferungen. Wahnsinn, ne? Sobald du die Wahrheit als Muslim sagst, brauchst du auch da ein schnelles Pferd, weil die Muslime nicht töten werden. Sie wollen in der Lüge leben. They want to lie. They want to live in this lie. That's it's, it's right, eh, brother. Yes, of course. It's brother. Islam is nothing but a lie. It's fabrication. I, how many times do we have to say it? Islam is a fabricated. Everything is fabricated. Buraq, Hur al Ain, uh, Las Vegas of Allah. Everything is fabricated. Everything is a fabrication. Everything. Everything. Just show me one thing that is real in Islam. Show me one thing. Show me one thing. Hey, maybe a Muslim can come up. Maybe because of him, we can become Muslims. I, I will take my shahada. Maybe you can convince me. I will take my shahada too. I bear witness that there is no God but Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And I bear witness. Is that that G Christ is the Son of the Most High? <laughs> that is my shahada. Ex-Muslim. Hello. Yes, hello. I have a question. A question? Yeah. What is your question? Ex-Muslim, ich kann kein Englisch sprechen. Ich wollte dich was fragen. Was steht denn überhaupt in der Bibel über die Gottlosen? Ich verstehe dich, meine Bruder. Verstehst du mich? Ja, hey, hey, ich verstehe dich. Ich spreche Arabisch. Ich spreche Arabisch, ich spreche Englisch, ich spreche Japanisch, wenn du willst. Ja, ich will dich fragen, was steht auf der Haut, weil die Mabi am Nun bei Allah, bei Injil? Mabi am Nun bei Allah? ما بنعرف نحن مين الله مين مين هو الله تبعك تبع الاسلام مين هو تبع مش تبع الاسلام تبع تبعيتك انت الانجيل تبعك انا ما بامن بالله انا امن بيسوع المسيح حبيبي 
طب يا عمي بتبعك المسيح ايش مكتوب واللي ما بيامن بالمسيح؟ اللي ما اللي ما بيامن اللي ما بيامن بالابن ما بيامن ما بيامن بالاب كمان يا عمي الملحد 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 ايش مكتوب على الملحد؟ معناته انت كافر زنديق بال بال بالمسيح عش مكتوب على مكتوب المسيح؟ الملحد 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 شو مكتوب عكن عند عليه؟ سمعت شو قلت لك؟ The one who rejects the son, guys, let me translate. The one, I, I'm telling him, he's asking me, what does, this, what does the Bible say? I speak German, I come in your German, no speak English. Uh, Habibas, let me translate. Uh, guys, he's asking me in the Arabic, what is the Injil, what is the gospel saying about if you don't believe? I said to him, if you reject the son, you reject the father, you are like Muhammad, an antichrist, you are a Dajjal. يعني انت دجال مثل نبيك وانت واحد منافق كما عيسى تبعك ايوه يسوع انا ما عندي انا ما بعرف عيسى حبيبي طب وي دونت نو عيسى عيسى از يور سوس المنعول يسوع تبعك لا لا منعول تبعك عيسى سند سند داون از از يسوع الضراط لا لا عيسى الضراط واللي بيخرى هيدا تبعك الرب اللي بيخرى بيفوت على الحمام امير از ان سولتينج جيسوس بيخرب وبيضرط هيدا تبعك الرب؟ لا شوف هذا هذا هاي لغة هاي لغة نبيك صح؟ هاي لغة نبيك هذا 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 لغة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. This is the language of Muhammad guys. Do you see how they love Jesus? They say we love Jesus more than you Christians. He just insulted Jesus. I don't want to tell you what he said, but he said very very insulting words about Jesus. That's what they do, guys. But may God forgive you. May our why Lord they are so like why they are so uh, demonic? Yes, of course, brother. When they see my name, they get demonic. For some reason, when they see my name, it's always demonic. They manifest. They start to demonize. They they manifest like demons. <laughs> Unbelievable, these people. I mean, I didn't insult him. I asked him very, very easy question, and he immediately started to insult. <clears throat> Amir, I think he's stuck because he's driving. Guys, he said to me, he asked me, "What does it? Say, what does the angel say about Allah?" I say, "We don't believe in your Allah," and he became angry. <laughs> Can you imagine? I said, we, be, we don't believe in Allah. Who is Allah? Who is Isa? And then he started to insult. Can you imagine? I understand you though, when you don't have answers, <clears throat> you can only insult like your uh, Allah and uh, like your fake prophet. We love more, we love Jesus more than you, brother. Yeah, of course. You love him so much that you insult and curse him. Sounds convincing, you Muslims. You're, you're a bunch of uh, honest people. <laughs> Amir, are you okay, brother? I'm okay. Do you hear me? Yeah, brother. You was you were stuck in uh, traffic moments ago. Yeah, uh, the connection is not good. Uh, brother, why is, so, why is brother, the most brother, of are the you in Cape Hira like Muhammad? I, don't I, I think so, yeah. I, I thought I am here in... Uh... <laughs> but brother, at least your cave can drive. Yes. <laughs> but why are Muslims so demonic and uh, bring these words of, uh, from his mouth, from their brother, mouth? You know, this, this reminds me of a dear brother of mine. His name is Adam Seeker. Maybe you know, you know him. Adam Seeker is a, a Muslim, was a Muslim. A Pakistani Muslim. He loved to curse me. He loved to call me names. Then he left Islam because of my videos. And now he's one of the biggest uh, <laughs> anti uh, ex Muslims against Islam, right? And he has yeah. beautiful live streams now. So I did a couple of live streams as well. And he always says, Rob, when I was a Muslim, I was insulting you. I was asking Allah to kill you. And now he, he, we love one another because he's a Christian now. Wow. People change of Christ. Imagine he used to send me all kind of curses. Now why, he left, uh, why he left uh, Islam? Because of what? Because of our views, brother. Ah, okay. Perfect. He watched my videos. He watched the videos of brother Christian Prince. 
and he decided to leave Islam a couple years ago. And now he has his own uh, YouTube channel. He's doing amazing work, by the way. He's learning, he always takes notes, and he uses our arguments against Islam. Perfect. Hello, brother Kefir. Yeah. Brother Kefir. Hello. Yeah. I want to ask uh, Brother Rob, uh, you was also a Muslim, a Muslim, or? Uh, no, brother, never. God forbid. Okay. God okay, forbid. Uh, well, I have think you was a Muslim, and I, brother, uh, I want I, to ask how I, you come I'm, to Jesus. I'm a Christian. I'm from the, um, among the original Christians from Antioch, in the Book of Acts. We go back to Antioch. Antioch. Yeah. Now there is Turkey. You know, mm -hmm. have you ever heard of Ant Ant Antiochia, Antakya, or yes, Antioch? Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, where we it's are. It's written in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, my family is from there. <clears throat> yeah, no, I watch. I don't watch your video so much. I watch uh, more from Ahmed and from uh, Sam Shamoon and. How dare you, you kafir? Yeah, I'm a kafir. <laughs> uh, okay. I watch. Uh, I think. I think I watch uh, Sam Shamoon and David Wood like ten years ago. Ten, eleven years. They start. They start with this. Uh, we don't on YouTube with these telephone calls. Oh man, are you that so old? Doda, you're yeah, an old I'm, guy, man. I know I'm, I'm 36, but I, I remember Oof. the telephone calls that was the best every time called uh, a sheikh or, or something, or imam. Now you must discuss with some child with 17, 18 years. Yeah. They, they you know even... why, Doda? You know why? Because the imams are now hiding from us and they're sending their little puppies to us. The kittens, yeah. Yeah. they send us this type of Muslims, cute, no. cute Muslims who don't know their religion and they can only insult. Now is now is only brother Amir the sheikh, yeah, the sheikh no. in Germany. <laughs> Amir, I'm, I'm, I'm a real sheikh. Yeah. Amir, Amir, you know. <laughs> even even Amir, even even Katir Amir, even Katir Amir. <laughs> even Katir Amir. Amir al muminin himself, yes. No, uh, I, I, I just want to know if you was a Muslim, how you come to Jesus, no, but yeah, no, it's no, finished. No no, 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 no. God forbid. Okay, bro. Thank God you. God save you. God save you. God, God, God save you, bro. Bye-bye. <clears throat> is there any Muslim? Any Muslim who is serious about his religion? And he has a better mouth than the guy before us who just left. Is there any civilized Muslim that we can have a normal discussion with? I know that Hamdi is always watching. Hamdi, I know you're watching. Hamdi, come up, come up. Yalla ya Hamdi, you're, you happen to be the Sheikh of Germany. Come, don't hide. Yalla ya Hamdi, yalla. Sheikh Hamdi, yalla, come. Don't, don't hide from Rob Christian. Don't hide. People in Islam need you, brother. You need to help the Muslims. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Guys, let me tell you why. Why we always say Allah is a jahil. Allah doesn't know Arabic. We told you, we already showed you a couple of examples. But here's another one, guys. Look, <clears throat> Amir, are you there, brother? Well, Amir is not here. I need the big screen for that. I'll wait till Amir comes back, guys. Don't worry. Uh, Rob will debate to fill his Patreon? Really? So we're doing this for money, guys? Rashid, you think I'm doing this for money? 
If I was doing this for money, I would be like Zachary Nike. I will take my Shahada and I will do what Zachary Nike does. Guys, listen, I have around 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. If our point was money, I will take my Shahada and within a week, I will get million subscribers with the amount of knowledge that I have. But actually, the real ones who are doing money business are you Muslims. The Muslim Dawah Gandist. People like Ali Dawa, 10% off, black seeds, brother. This beautiful jacket, 10% off, use this code. So get out of here, you idiot. If I want to become a millionaire, I will become a, a Muslim apologist. Like uh, Sister Farida or the Sister Muhammad Hijab, the golden showboy. All these beautiful sisters of Islam. Is that all thing you got, uh, Muslims? That's it. If I, if if it was about money and business, guys, we would not sit on TikTok. Talking to this Kafir Amir, what was the point? <laughs> God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. If you really think that there is money in Christian Christian ministry, you're you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Guys, do you want to do you want me to show you how poor I am? Look, guys. Let me show you. I have a, a chair that I uh, that I use. For example, look at my chair, guys. This is the chair I'm sitting on. I, and Muslims say, Rob, you are you're, you're very, 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 very rich. Look, look at my chair, guys. You see my chair? This is the chair I sit on. Here. Look. This is the chair that I sit on for many years now. Yeah, I'm very rich, brother. Look. Kaput. <laughs> Kaput. And that's how rich I am. <clears throat> You see it? How, how, how very, how rich I am? I'm very rich, brother. Like Zakir Naik and Ahmed Idad. Ahmed Idad, guys, he was a filthy, filthy, rich millionaire. What did he do with the millions? With his millions, he was deceiving everybody. Muhammad, sorry, Ahmed, Ahmed Idad. What, what, what did he do with all the millions? When he became youth, he challenged, remember that debate that he challenged God? He said, if, if, if I'm lying about God, May God silence me. What happened to him? He became mute for many years. He was like a plant in his deathbed. He could not speak. He could not move. So let this be a warning for you Muslims. When you challenge the living God of the Bible, Jesus Christ, glory to his name, God will answer. So let that be a warning for you. How old I am? I'm very old, brother. I have... I have a big long beard like brother Christian Prince, but my beard is not as long as his beard. But I'm very old, brother. Brother Rob, Rob you're very rich, Rob. Why do you sit on a chair that is broken? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Amir, he drives in a Mercedes Benz. Do you see? Yeah, they, they think rich. I'm from yeah, the rich. state. I'm from from the state of Germany. They pay yeah. me for uh, bringing some uh, some Muslim out of uh, Islam. <laughs> I mean, look 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 at Amir. He's delivering pizzas. <laughs> Very the best pizza of the world. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you, uh, became, Amir, you became are, the best Muslim. pizza from the best cafe. <laughs> Amir, people are saying we are very rich, brother. We are doing this for money. Yeah, yeah, we are very rich. When very I was rich, rich, I never make this 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 year for my work here. Amir, I showed I showed them my. Uh, my I do my live streams in Hawaii. Look, look at I do chair. my live stream in Hawaii. <laughs> look how old my chair is, brother. It's, it's almost falling apart. Look. Very rich. Yes, because you are rich. You are a rich guy. <laughs> Very rich. Very My rich guys. and sehr reich. Der hat ein Stuhl mit Löchern da drin, aber er ist sehr reich. Yeah, very rich. <laughs> Weil der Staat bezahlt uns sehr gut. Der Staat bezahlt uns sehr gut, dass ich noch arbeiten muss 
Und der hat Löcher in seinem Stuhl. Yeah. I'm, I'm arbeitslos, like, uh, like Satan in Islam. I'm arbeitslos. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very rich at heart because I have two beautiful children, a wife that loves me. I'm the richest man alive, brother. And I have Jesus, which you Muslims don't have. You can keep the money uh, like Ahmadi did. Maybe you can get rich, brother. You can take your millions with you inside the grave. And then a snake comes inside your grave and he enters into your anus. If you don't uh, answer correct questions, say, and then two angels, I mean, two, two shayateen comes in your grave and they start to hammer you down with the hammer of Thor. What is the religion? Islam, brother. What is the prophet that was sent to you? Muhammad, brother. Yeah. And what is the book? Einen wunderschönen guten Mittag. Guten Tag, Gott segne dich und deine Familie. Möge der Herr Jesus Christus dich und deine Familie immer behüten und beschützen. Vielen lieben Dank. Spricht der Kollege neben du nur Englisch? Der spricht nur Englisch und Arabisch, aber ja, ja teilweise auch Deutsch. Um, my English is not good, but I, I, was heißt grüßen warte, auf Englisch? Warte, warte, du kannst noch nicht reden, weil der hat gerade pausiert. Ach jetzt so. ist er raus. Ja, ich höre euch gerne zu. Wie gesagt, ich mag deine Ansichten. Ich bin zwar kein Moslem, ich bin Jeside, aber ja. uns verbindet viel, finde ich. Warte, ich mal wieder. Meine muslimischen, jesidischen, christlichen, buddhistischen Brüder, ich grüße euch. Ja, was soll ich dir erzählen? Ich äh, mag das Christentum. Ich habe da nichts Negatives zu verlieren. Ne, ich stehe hinter euch Christen. Ich teile euer Leid. Wir haben auch viel Leid erfahren. Die Juden grüße ich auch. Habe ich vergessen. Wir glauben auch nur an einen Gott. Das ist eine monotheistische Religion. Genau. Gott segne euch. Ebenfalls, wir glauben an die Wiedergeburt. Ja. Naja, wir Jesiden haben durch die Muslime Völkermorde erfahren, 74, und haben zum Glück alle überstanden. 2014 IS. Ihr erinnert euch. Ja, 2014 der IS, ne? Hat uns das angetan. Nicht nur 2014, insgesamt 74 Völkermorde an den Jesiden durch eine bestimmte Religionsgemeinschaft. Ich liebe das Christentum, aber ich bin sehr stolz darauf, Jeside zu sein. Es gibt wenige von uns, deswegen halte ich noch so gut es geht daran fest. Tatsächlich. Also wer, zu, wer zum IS steht, der hat wirklich die Kontrolle über sein Leben verloren, dem äh, möge Gott helfen. Ne? Der soll zu, zu Gott beten, dass er ihn da so schnell es geht wieder rausholt.
Aber ich muss auch wieder raus, ich bin auf der Arbeit, meine Pause ist um. Ich wünsche euch alles Gute. Ähm, genau, man hört sich, man sieht sich. Ich wollte kurz reinkommen, kurz Hallo sagen. Und ich sehe immer das Gute in Menschen. Ich muss mich mal wieder hier groß machen. Rob Christians. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. I had a phone call, forgive me. <clears throat> no problem. Yeah, I had to drop for a sec. So, yeah. Where were we? What were we talking about? Rob. Yes. Can you show us can you show us a clear 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 contradiction in the Quran clear contradiction Brother there are no, contra not, no talking about Brother what are you talking no about there about. are no contradiction in the Quran how dare you <laughs> when, because in surah an-nisa ayah 82 says Allah when this book is not from God you find a lot of contradiction in it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you want me to barbecue Allah again, brother? Uh, <laughs> when this book is not from Allah, you find a lot of contradiction. Not one, a lot. A lot. If a lot, yeah. A lot. Uh, let, let's see if we can find one. You find a lot. You find a lot. <laughs> a lot, like Azza al Manat, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Azza al Manat. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can find something for the. Our friends here in the chat. Let me explain it and translate it. Ich habe ihn gefragt, uh, Rob Christian, zeig uns einen eindeutigen, wo es keine Frage mehr uh, gibt, wo keine Fragen mehr aufkommen, einen, um, ein, uh, sagen wir schnell, ein Contradiction hier, uh, ein Widerspruch, genau, ein Widerspruch im Koran, einen eindeutigen, wo es keinerlei Fragen mehr gibt. Ja. Yeah. Do you want me to show you from the Hafs Quran or compared Hafs to other Qiraat? What's your, what's the be, the best way for you to do it? No, it's gone again. The Kafir, the Kafir is gone again, guys. Amir al Kafar is gone again. Why are you always run? Why you run, brother? You coward. No, guys, I'm joking. Brother Amir is working and I really respect for pe have respect for people who work and can do all this at the same time and respect. God bless this brother. <clears throat> uh, no problem. No problem. We, let us show you more than one. I will show you more than one. What about that? I will show you more than one. I will first start with comparing the different readings, different Qur'ans with one another to prove my point. And then I will show you one from Hafs versus Hafs. Hafs versus Hafs version. But first I'm going to start with, uh, with the differences in Qira'at. The differences in what? Qira'at. And how Qira'at of Allah Muslims say these are the Qur'ans, how Qira'at, how the readings 
contradict one another. Hafs, Qalun, Warsh, Okay. If we go to chapter 37, give me the big screen, brother. Uh, big screen. I am? No. Uh, I thought I said a single, wait. No, I'm, I'm very small like Allah, brother. You make, you need to make me big oh, like sorry, Allah. Sorry, okay. Now you are big, huh? <laughs> All right, Habibi. Guys, yeah, we don't like jokes too much, okay? Only a little bit jokes, not too much. 37, ayah 12. 37. Do you see it? 37, Aya 12. Surah 37, verse 12. I love what to is tell the point this that one. You, that you want to make? Yeah, this one is, I call the mother of all destruction of the Quran. <laughs> of this all is contradiction? The, this is the mother of the contradiction. <laughs> you have father, uh, you have the mother. Zeit Mutter, der, uh, zeigt uns jetzt die Mutter der Widersprüche. The mother, <laughs> the mother. <laughs> Your madre. <laughs> the mother. Your madre, yeah. Look, 37 ayah 12. This is the Hafs version of the Quran. Read with me. Rather, you, meaning in context Muhammad, if you go to the if you go to the tafsir, you will see that this is about Muhammad. Look here, oh, even in context, Muhammad, you see it? So Allah is talking to Muhammad and he's saying to Muhammad, rather you, Muhammad, are surprised, you are shocked. Yeah, Muhammad, when Whereas they keep mocking, who the, the enemies of Muhammad, the enemies of Allah are mocking Islam. They are mocking Muhammad, they are mocking Allah. You get the point, right, Amir? Yes. Okay. Now, if we go to other Qiraat, if we go to other Qiraat, we see that it's not, the enemies are not mocking, uh, sorry, the one who's not talking is not uh, to Muhammad, it's Allah. Talking about himself. Look. Bel Ajipta. You, Muhammad, you are surprised, you are shocked, and the enemies mock. But if we go to a different Qiraat, because this is Hafs, the number one, we go down. This is these are all the Qiraat guys. You can play here the recording. So yeah, these are the Qiraat. We go down, we see multiple contradictions between Qiraat. Let's see, if we find purple, that means we have contradiction, a variant. Look here. Khalaf an Hamza, version of the Quran. Khalaf an Hamza. Look. Bel Ajib tu wa Haf said, we go back to Hafs. Bel Ajib ta, ta wa What does that mean? Now, in this one, the one who is surprised is Allah. Bel Ajib too. Allah talking about himself. Allah is shocked. The other one said Muhammad is shocked. Is that a contradiction? Is that a contradiction? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if I, uh, so if I uh, do that, that this. Mean who is shocked now? Allah or Muhammad? Eh? Yeah. So which one is uh, who is shocked? Who is shocked? Allah or Muhammad? Where is the next shocked? Allah or Muhammad? Where is the next shocked? Hey, that's a contradiction. Contradiction variant. Muhammad or Allah? Which one? And question: If it's Allah, how can Allah be shocked? Allah is a human. Genau, wenn es Allah ist, wie kann denn Allah schockiert sein? Ajib tu, Anna. Allah saying I. Ajib. Ajib tu. Ajib ta is you, Muhammad. This is Allah about himself. Yeah, and I had a, do you remember Abbas, the pizza delivery boy who always calls Christian Prince and me? You remember him from Speaker's Corner? Abbas. Yes, Abbas from Speaker's Corner. Yeah, he called me once about this specific ayah. He said, I poop on all, all of the rest of the Qiraat. He rejects all of them and he only takes halves. I said, you're a kafir. <laughs> <laughs> he rejects all of these Qiraat, bro. He only takes halves. These are hey. Quran versions, huh? This Qiraat. Yes. Uh -huh. This is why Dr. Yasser Qadi. This is why Dr. Yasser Qadi said we don't speak about it publicly. Publicly, yeah. Yes, because of this disaster. Only student of knowledge can talk behind closed doors. 
Here it's public. We Christians bury your Quran, Muslims. You see it? That's one contradiction. I can show you more, but let us show you more. <clears throat> what do you think if I can show Muhammad contradicts Allah? Muhammad contradicts Allah. Muhammad did preached Allah? Yes. Muhammad contradicts Allah. Watch. Let's see if I can find for you. Let's see. <sighs> Muhammad is very smart, brother. Muhammad is very smart. He, uh, he doesn't contradict his Allah, right? That's what Muslims always say. Muhammad does not contradict Allah. But well, let's see if that's true. If I can prove that he does, that means is Muhammad a prophet or not? You Muslims can take your conclusions. No. Okay. We go to a hadith. We go to what? To a hadith. Uh, look, we go to Sahih al-Bukhari. What, what is better than Sahih al-Bukhari, Amir? Nothing, right? In Islam? But, except the Quran? Sahih al-Bukhari. Uh, what did you say? What is better than Sahih al-Bukhari after the Quran? Nothing. In Islam. Nothing. Sahih al-Bukhari is uh, the next next authentic source uh, um, hmm. after the Quran. Exactly. Now, Sunni Muslims focus. Instead of attacking the Bible, always focus with me. You learned something new about your false prophet. Watch. Sahih al-Bukhari 3443. Take notes, guys. 3443. Okay, Sahih, narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger said, both in this world and in the hereafter, I am the nearest of all the people to Isa. There's nothing called Jesus in Islam, Isa, the son of Maryam, the prophets, and here's the disaster, Amir, the prophets, all of them are paternal brothers, meaning uh, brothers from the fa father's side, brothers from the father's side, meaning Adam. Okay, their okay. mothers are different. Who? So their fathers are the same, but their mothers are different mothers. But their religion. Ah, the mothers are different. Okay. So focus to this part. The mothers of the prophets are all different. But wait a second. Do you think Muhammad contradicted his own Quran, brother? Yes. Why? Because Muhammad and. Uh, um uh does know what he's talking huh? uh, and very very often Muhammad, of forgot. Hadith. Muhammad forgot Quran. very very much of hadith Muhammad forgot his own Quran specifically Surat Maryam look if we go to Surat Maryam chapter 19 I have 53 of the Quran Surat Maryam 1953 Re read with me and we meaning Allah gave him out of our mercy Meaning about Moses, this is talking about Moses, his brother Aaron as prophet. Boom, boom. Moses has a brother called Aaron. Aaron. Harun, they call him in Islam Harun. But he's from the same mother. Muhammad said, prophets are from different mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Ja, siehst du, Sahib Bukhari kann man auch nicht mehr ernst nehmen. Wir haben die Leute recht. Sahib, diese ganze Religion kannst du gar nicht mehr ernst nehmen, ehrlich. Ey. Das ist ein Desaster after Desaster. Das ist ein Desaster after Desaster. How can Muhammad claim to be a prophet, yet he, co he contradicts his own Quran and Allah? Do you think Muhammad was a kafir? Do you think Muhammad is now in hell? Now, do you understand why Allah in chapter 69, let us go to chapter 69. Do you understand why Allah said in chapter 69? If he is lying, we uh, should uh, take Ayy, his order. Uh, 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 hey, wow. uh, you talk with Dr. Sheikh Abu Amir, you know. Huh? Ayy, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh, Sheikh. <laughs> Sheikh, Sheikh. Look, chapter 69. Sheikh, 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 S
Sura al Haqqa, I 69, I 44 to all the way to 46. Read with me. Look, brother Amir. Walau taqawwala alayna baad al qawil. I will, I will look at the of you. And if Muhammad fabricated lies about Allah, we, Allah, would take him by the right hand. And Allah sagt hier, wenn Muhammad uns Sachen erdichtet, dann würden wir ihn an die Rechte packen und seine Schlagader durchtrennen. Also wenn er Lügen erzählen würde, wenn Muhammad Lügen erzählen würde, dann würden wir ihn an der Rechten packen und ihn umbringen. <lacht> Aha. Busted. <lacht> Busted. There you go. How can Muhammad lie about Allah Quran? Uh oh. I feel so sorry about the Muslims. Uh, I feel very sad about them. Because sure, they... Hadi? I'll show the hadith. Because they uh, throw their souls away for this religion. Yeah. This is the hadith that contradicts chapter 19. Sayyid Bukhari 3443. Three. Said, the mothers of the prophets are different. The prophets have same father, but their mothers are different. But he forgot about Aaron and Moses in the Quran. Because Aaron and Moses have the same mother. They're yes. literally blood brothers. Same mother, same father. He's his brother. Moses has a brother called Aaron, Harun. Uh, contradiction. Hello. Hello. I think uh, he forgot to say inshallah. What do you think, uh, brother? <laughs> inshallah, the connection is good. Oh, this, this guy wants money. <clears throat> Wa alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam He's asking for your pizza money, uh, Amir. <laughs> you want to eat my pizza? Yes. He's coming no. to Christian stream. He wants pizza. I want my. I want my. Uh, I want to eat my pizza for my own. I'm very yeah. hungry, guy. Yeah. Uh, go. Go. Ask money from uh, Hamdi. <laughs> Why Hamdi is not there to debate you? <laughs> he, he, he's scared of you because you know Arabic. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tarak, Tarak. Can you tell me? Come, come up, Tarak. Can you tell me why your prophet contradicts his Quran, and yet you claim that he's a prophet of God? Can a prophet of God contradict his own Quran? Hansi, where are you? Hansi! <laughs> Come rein, with Rob Christian reden ein bisschen. Hamdi, ya Hamdi, ya Jaban. You run from Amir and Rob Christian, huh? Hamdi? Hansi! <laughs> Are you blind? I showed the hadith like 10 times already, man. Here again. Sahih al Bukhari 3443. You can look it up yourself. Don't be lazy. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger said, both in this world and in the hereafter, I am the nearest of all the people to Isa. There's nothing called Jesus in Islam. Isa. The son of Mary. Now here's the most important part. Here's the contradiction. The prophets, meaning all the prophets, not one, not two, all of them, are paternal brothers, meaning from the same father. Their, now here comes the contradiction. Their mothers of the prophets are different. But he forget Muhammad forgot about Aaron and Moses. Aaron and Moses are same mother, from the same mother. 
Darf ich was sagen? What happened? <laughs> Did What he happened? join? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because uh, you came double time and uh, double voice and I put him out. Hitman, you must not have an answer to chicken. Hitman. Hitman. Ya Tariq, Tariq, I gave you the number. Are you blind? Uh, we have blind Muslims. Okay, slowly, brother, here. Sahih Al-Bukhari. Not Abu Khara, no. Bukhari. Three. Four. Four, three. Okay, did you catch it now? Okay. Brother, can you give me the number again? What's wrong with Muslims, bro? Hey, Kifak Coptic Prince. Yeah, Prince, Coptic Prince. Kifak Habibi, Salam and Masih. God bless you, Habibi. Yeah, Sahih Abu Khara, 3443. Habibi, Habibi. God bless you. Which Quran translate to use? I don't use translations. I'm Arabic speaker. I don't need translations. I, I go to the Arabic. لو تقول ببعض الأقاويل فأخذنا منه باليمين فقطعنا منه الوتين. سبحان الله Jesus. سبحان الله Jesus. ولو تقول علينا ببعض الأقاويل لأخذنا منه باليمين ثم لقطعنا منه الوتين. Uh, The man uh, is teaching everybody out of his own time. Look at the research he's done. Look at how much time he's invested in order to open the eyes of the Muslims, right? Because in the end of the day, a lot of people might come and attack and say, oh, you're being too extreme. No, these people are under a coma. And when someone's <laughs> under a coma, you need to wake them up. You're not going to go massage their legs. So I just want to say, God bless Rob. God bless you, Habibi. Thank God you, I appreciate it. And your knowledge is beyond imagination, Rob. Uh, Amazing. And God keep you for Amazing. All of us, Thank you, Habibi. I appreciate your kind words. Again, uh, guys, also pray for Brother Amir. Pray for Coptic Prince. Whenever you speak against Islam, your life is automatically in danger. So we need your prayers. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. I don't need anything else. Only prayers, guys. Pray for our families. Uh, Rob, for our Rob they, tried, they tried to kill me tw twice. <laughs> I know, I know, bro, I know. Yeah, you know. You know I it's don't all around the world, huh? I know, brother, I know. I don't want to say too much about myself, but you have no idea, guys, what we go through. Maybe you think you know, but you don't know. Just leave it at there, brother. Don't give too much information, Habibi Amir. Don't never, never give too much information. We have families, we have children, you know, so we need to be careful. Right? Coptic Prince, Tamini Alik Habibi, how are you, brother? Nishkur Masih, bro, Kullu Tamam, Kifak Inta Habibi, Kalishin Mahi. Habibi, Habibi, Rob, Rob, the question I have, Rob, is, uh, and, and you obviously, um, with your beautiful knowledge, Rob, how can I believe in a religion that tells me pigs came from the anus of uh, elephants? Pigs came from the anus of the elephant. Phil Islam. Brother, stop lying about Allah, okay? This is not Islam. 
I've got the evidence. I've got the evidence. Yalla, ya kafir. Surat al-Hud, ayah 11. Surat al-Hud, ayah 11. Don't talk with evidence. We are not here for talking. We want to show evidence. Okay, wait. Uh, I don't have my computer, but I don't. But so listen, guys. I'm telling you where it is. Surat al-Hud, ayah 11. All right, Tafsir al-Qurtubi. What happened is, once upon a time, Noah. We all know who Noah is. Hello, kalam. Ayyoh. Noah went inside the, the ark, and uh, as you know, he had a lot of animals. Within, within, while the ship was on the ocean, all the cows and the animals started to do manure, started to do poop. And the smell yeah. really bothered Noah, yeah. and you see back from all the problems in the world, the biggest problem is it stinks in the ark. Subhanallah. So what happened? Noah <laughs> came to Allah and he said, Ya Allah, it smells. Allah, yani, come on, yani, yani, don't worry about the flooding, don't worry about anything, just, yani, we, we, the smell is very bad. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jalli min hikmat Allah, from his wisdom, he told Noah, Listen, Noah, go touch the anus of the elephant. Subhanak, ya Allah. Go touch the tail of the elephant's ass. For what did Noah do? Taban, he went and obeyed Allah's command. He went and he touched the elephant's ass, the tail of the elephant's ass. Guess what came out, Amir and Rob? A pig. Subhanallah. A pig came out of the elephant's bum. Subhanallah. And then how did it resolve? The pig went and he ate all the poo in the ark. And therefore, Noah was happily smelling uh, nothing and no poop. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al Oh, I mean. Ishal, Ishal, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to share, Habibi. <laughs> but brother, why are you lying, brother? Show the evidence, brother. <laughs> why are you lying? Stop lying. I'll open the laptop. Minkum lillah, man. I'll open the laptop. Minkum lillah. Ya kafir. Brother, do you have the evidence there? Can you show us in the screen? Yeah, I'll uh, give me one second. Habibi, wait with me. It is from Tafsir. Okay, that's yours. Which Tafsir you said? Kurtubi, <clears throat> Kurtubi, Surat Al Hud, Ayah 11, man. Mm. Ah, Imam Al Kurtubi, huh? The mm. big, the giant, big Kurtubi. scholar of the Maliki, huh? Yeah, Imam Kurtubi was all on hashish, man. They're all on hashashin, the Mufassir. <laughs> Yeah, and one of them is telling you Solomon gave his ring to a locust and uh, he started telling the locust, give me back my ring. Yani, aha, Rob, yani, aha, what do you mean? Bro? Aha, aha. <laughs> Come on, bro, wait. But yeah, uh, Shabbat, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd share that. But Rob, the brothers, the, the paternal Prince brothers, Rob. Are you sure about number 11? Give me one sec, Habibi, I'll, mm. I'll get it. Because I can't find it. <clears throat> give me one sec, Habibi, I'll... Uh... I'll get yes, it take your time. Because sometimes I make mistakes about numbers. So we need to be careful. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Amir, have you seen my debate with the three Shias? Uh, no. Uh, you, can you send me the link? Uh, is it on your account, YouTube account? Yeah, yeah. I had a debate with three Shia at the same time. As of Habib 41, 41, Surah Al Hud 41. Uh, also, yeah, Surah so. 41, Surah 41. Yeah, Surah 11, Shabab, the Ayah 41. Uh, surah 11. Ah, uh, Surah 11, 41. The last? Uh, surah 11, Ayah 41. Surah 11, Ayah 41. Give me the big screen. Don't Give me the big screen and I'll show you. Give me the big screen and I'll show you. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Give him the big screen, brother. I have it here, but give him the big screen. I already found it. Hello, uh, Kala. Bossa Malim. 
Okay, so here you read all of it, but you can get it and translate it in Google. It'll tell you everything. And then down here, look what it says. Lama kafarat, lama kafarat al arwaf, meaning the poop, wal aqzar, awhiya Allahu ila nuh. Allah told Nuh, which is Noah, all right, so grab, grab the, the tail or the, the, the kind of the, the attached to the anus of it. منه خنزيرا. خنزيرا. Out of the ass fell out a, a male pig and a female pig. فأقبل على الأروف, meaning it, they went and they ate all the poo out of the boat. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I have a So even though he went after that, he touched the anus of the pig, and then a rat came out of the anus of the pigs. Subhanallah, Allah Azza wa Jal. Yeah, this is true, brother. This is Islam. أمسح جبه الأسد فمسحها فخرج منه سنوران فأكلها الفار. Right, so mm -hmm. there was Tom and Jerry in the boat, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. right? Tom and so Jerry Tom is an Jerry. Islamic. Uh, brother, yeah, Tom, Tom and Jerry, Jerry is stolen from Quran. Exactly, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry the, is I mean, stolen from Quran, yes. Uh, the plagiarism, <laughs> Yarob, yani, they didn't even come with John. They have to yeah. copy Tom and Jerry from the Quran. Auzu yeah. billah, auzu billah. So, yeah. That, so means, that, that, means, that means pigs came from the anus of the field, from, yes. from the elephant. Yes, yes. alhamdulillah. Yeah, brothers, brothers, yeah, ah, very good. Ah, you Muslim. Also, Schweine kommen aus den Anusen von Elefanten raus. Ja, natürlich. So wie die Zahnbürste in dem Anus von dem einen war und der mit dem Ellenbogen in den Anus von dem äh, Muslim aufgewacht ist, ne? Wundervoll! Uh, did you know that... Uh, this is Ibn uh, Abbas, uh, huh? Amir, uh, Amir, brother, just a second. Brother, did this you is know? Ibn Abbas saying it, huh? Not okay, some wait. joke. Ibn Abbas? Oh, what happened to Coptic? Oh. Baby, you take big screen, Rob. You take big screen. Oh, sorry, out, brother. Brother. But this is Ibn Abbas saying it, Habibi, look. عن ابن عباس is saying it look فوقع منه خنزير exactly الله أكبر اللهم صل على الخنازير أجمعين ابن عباس يعني this is huge رب يعني brother there there is a there is a chair who who talk brother do you hear me can hear you. Go ahead, brother. We hear you. Okay. There is a sheikh in uh, Islamic world. There is a sheikh in, in the Islamic world who talk about a uh, situation in which a Muslim uh, was um, yeah. was uh, sleeping and he wake up in the morning with his uh, fist and uh, the arm was in his anus. <laughs> 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 you guys are far, man. I, I don't like hanging around. <laughs> You're both as worse as each other. Auzu billah min aadat al kuffar. Ya shabab. Like, like Coptic prince, since we're talking about muakhir and stuff, anus and what. Let, let me make it even more worse. According to the fiqh, fiqh, fuqaha, jurisprudence. Ah, uh, fiqh. There is no question about it. In fiqh. Yeah, خلاص. End game. They say if you End are game. praying. They say if you are praying, if you are praying to Allah, okay, you did wudu, you're praying to Allah in the middle of a prayer. If you wrap around your finger paper, uh, how do you call it? You know, when you eat the paper, you clean your mouth with, what do you call it in, in German? Uh, Abwischen. Abwischen, you know, to, you know, you, you yeah, so here, so make it clean, huh? Yeah, yeah. You, you take that paper, you wrap it around your finger. And then you put your finger there. <laughs> During prayer, don't take it out. Leave it in. Until you finish praying to Allah. <laughs> don't take it out. If you take it out, your wudu became, your prayer is cut. So don't take it out. Leave it in there. I'm not joking. Rob, if... Uh... 
if a Muslim man is praying, okay, and he releases gas throughout his prayer, the devil comes and removes the hair out of his anus? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Satan, Satan has one job. Allah fired him and he made him uh, plucking only hair. Uh, Satan is hairdresser. Frizur, frizur of the anus in Islam. <laughs> Oh my God! Bro. Satan is frizur, guys, in Islam. <laughs> frizur, frizur. Yes. Uh, I a hadith, uh, Coptic. But I hope you ate, brother. Allah, I have said the nafsi, man. You're gonna block my appetite, Rob. <laughs> you bring things. You bring things sometimes. Ya ma'allim, when you bring it up <laughs> before I eat. But it's a dilly nifty, man. I don't eat anymore after when you bring it up. And talk. Can you yeah, translate I mean, this? The, can you translate this hadith? By the way, it's Hassan Hadith. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 where did you get this one? No, no, where did you translate, get this one, bro? brother? Translate, <laughs> because I don't know that Arabic. That is unbelievable. Bro, I don't goes, know Arabic. We need devil. you to translate. <laughs> bro, it goes, the, the devil plays with the how do I say without <laughs> with, with the ass with the anuses of the humans <laughs> with the anuses of the humans Satan does what? so play, wait he Allah he fired the Satan and he made him what? Adam. toilet cleaner? what? Satan, <laughs> Satan it takes from the anus yeah. Satan is taking from the anus no, no Satan plays with your anus Ah, so the place for the anus. Yes. Ah. And specifically, look, specifically, Perfect. Satan plays with the anus of Benny Adam. <laughs> the children of Adam. So, so while you're driving, Emir, if you feel something wrong under your seat, it's sa Satan, huh? You have to believe it's Satan. <laughs> he plays with your... <laughs> This is the hadith. Did you see? Rob, 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 did you see in the Quran? I'll do it with Jesus. Story. I'll do it Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that, Rob, the, the story about um, when uh, in Muhannas and uh, and uh, uh, basically Moses, he, they, he went and uh, the Quran says that, that a shark fell out of a bucket. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and the shark, what? The what? big whale, not a whale. A while, hoot, hoot, we say hoot. Whale fell out of a, a bucket, okay, and then they followed the bucket. So then Moses came and grabbed the the the, the kid. He goes to him, "Why did you let the whale escape from the bucket?" He goes to him, "The devil made me forget to cook it." Tabi, yeah, and he chribit chaklak. Yeah, so if I go to the toilet and I forget to wipe my ass, I'm gonna say the devil forgot to make me wipe my ass. What does the devil got to do with making you forget? Yeah, Zash. I don't get it. Yeah, the unbelievable, bro. Subhanallah, man. Subhanallah, Jesus. Subhanallah, Jesus. Oh, what, Amir Masihi? Amir oh. is uh, ex-Muslim uh, Masihi. I'm a sheikh. I'm wow. sheikh, Dr. Sheikh Abu Amir. By the way, wow, Amir, this brother bro. here... Don't call me, don't is... call me Amir. You have to say Dr. Sheikh Abu Amir. Mufti yeah, Abu, Amir. Sheikh Abu Amir. <laughs> like Sheikh Abu Amir, Ahla Sheikh Abu Amir, wallah. Uh, the most, Coptic prince is like you, huh? I'm the most popular Sheikh in Germany. <laughs> That's true. Amir, <laughs> Coptic <laughs> prince is like you, is ex Muslim. I'm the best huh? of the shields. I'm the best of the shields of the shields here in Germany. You're the biggest, Amir, you're the biggest Kafir in Germany. I'm man. the biggest Amir Abu <laughs> Fini, yeah. <laughs> so we have two ex Muslims here. We have uh, Amir and we have Coptic <laughs> prince. And they are doing shish kebab of Islam. Hey, uh, okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yes, yeah, perfect. You make the best decision in your life. Hey, you accepted wow. Jesus. The best decision in your life. Hey, wow. Rob is amazing, Shabab. Uh, everybody just, uh, I don't know what to say, man. Rob, God gave you a gift, bro, and, uh, and use it, bro. And, um, you know, I hope all the Muslims are listening to Rob. Go ask your shiuk what Rob is saying right now, go up to him and say, excuse me, I heard some kafir called Rob. It doesn't matter what you call Rob. He doesn't care what you call about him, right? <laughs> say, look, some kafir Nasrani came and he showed us this, yeah, Sheikh. What's your opinion? What's your, what, what's your answer? If you get an answer, ahlan wa sahlan, come back and discuss it. 
But if you don't have an answer, you got to start thinking, man. Open your brain. <laughs> yes. Stop being stupid. <laughs> Look at this Coptic prince. Can you translate this, please? Read and translate. Okay. So, فَإِنَّ وَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَأْتِي أَحَدَكُمْ He comes to it. وَهُوَ فِي صَلَاتِ فَيُمَيِّتْ شَعْرَهُ مِنْ دُبْرِ when the devil comes up to each one of you when you're praying and he plucks a hair from your anus. Uh, <laughs> Look, Amir, <laughs> you are praying and you know, Satan does this to you as a Sunni Muslim. Uh, that, that means when uh, when Hamdi is praying, the, uh, the Satan will steal uh, hairs from his anus. Huh? Yes, yes. To make ah. him fart. To make him fart. Ah, the, the whole Dava teams, the whole Dava teams, when they yeah. are praying, Satan comes and take uh, hairs from the anus. Like this, like this, I mean, look, ah. yes. so, like this Satan. Perfect. Sehr gut macht ihr das. Also, wenn ihr betet, dann kommt yeah. der Satan und stiehlt euch ein paar Haare von eurem Anus. Ja, natürlich. Sehr gut macht ihr das. Sehr gut. Uh, that's it. I'm going to become a Muslim now. I believe in this. Das kann doch nicht mehr wahr sein, was ihr da macht in euren, in eurer, in euren islamischen Schriften, was sich da drin befindet. And this is the book called Majma al Zawaid wa Manba al Fawaid. This is the book. Majma al Zawaid wa Manba al Fawaid. Yes. Here. This is the book, guys. Ibn al Haythami. Al Haythami, yes. Majma al Zawaid. Al Haythami. Li al Haythami. Volume 1, page 334 and 335. Yeah, I did a video about this, by the way. So if you guys want it, it's, everything is on my YouTube. Everything you need is on YouTube. Everything. <laughs> everything that you need. Yeah. Take it. Take, Take it. it. Take it, Muslims. Not from behind, huh? Take it for free. For free. You, you get it for free and we, uh, we give them for free. <laughs> uh, Coptic, Coptic. No, he's out. Oh, he dropped. Uh, Amir, when you, when you, when you yes. were Muslim, what did the Imams used to say to you? When, uh, Islam uh, is a beautiful religion. I talked with him uh, about uh, Surah 9-5 and I talked about, uh, about the, the, the whole uh, the Muslims who are terrorizing other other peoples, you know, in the name of Islam. He said, no, they are not Muslims. They are uh, from different sects. But I said to him, here, it, 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 Allah says in Surah 9, verse 5, five uh, kill the mushrikeen wherever you find them. <laughs> uh. Then he said, you don't understand. You have to read the tafsir. And I read the tafsir from Ibn Kathir. He said, uh, Ibn Kathir said, we have to kill all the mushrikeens around the world. It means in, in general. <laughs> Amir, my, but I had a different question. I like, I know that you love to talk about that, but I had a different question. When you were a Muslim, did the Imams ever say if you get married to a Muslim woman, you're not allowed to do <clears throat> anal? Nikah? Also, Kaduburi, eh? Yeah. To your wife? Uh, I don't, I, I, um, I don't yani talk about that. And is not some, halal, some right? Like That's what they said to you, right? Yeah, from the front is halal. From the back, not halal, huh? From the back is not halal. Did you know that's a lie as well? So I nice. think, I think, brother, I think in Surat Al-Baqarah, Ayah 223, uh, it's, it's a topic about the uh, uh, anus. Huh? It's, it's also in the Quran, but I will show you first here from Fiqh, again, always Fiqh, Shafi'i Fiqh. Al-Iqna fi hal al-Faz Abi Shuja. This is the book that they teach at Al-Azhar. Wow. This is the book that they teach to Imams. And by the way, this is the same book where you are uh, allowed to use the Bible as toilet paper, same book. Also oh, yes, same yes. book that you eat, you can eat apostates like you. If I say my shahada, I can eat you, Amir, without <laughs> cooking you. Same book. So this is the book. This is what? The book. Okay. Al-Iqna fi hal al-Faz li Abi Shuja. Volume 2 by Al-Khatib al-Sharbini, okay? If we go 
to this book. Not, we are not going to talk about eating uh, humans. We already talked about it last time. We are not going to talk about in the same book that you are allowed to use the Bible as toilet paper. That's a different topic. But I want to show you that about sodomy. Chapter, uh, sorry, uh, page 235. 235. 235. 235. Okay. <laughs> Talk, I come back, I come back. Wa qawla al-imam. The imam al-khatib al-sharbini explains that you are allowed to enjoy the anus of your wife. Wal tithaab bi dubr you are allowed to enjoy the a the anus of your wife there you go turns out that sodomy is halal with your wife boom boom guys remember god of the bible listen carefully dear brothers and sisters god in the bible destroyed two cities sodom and uh, gomorrah right because they did this stuff nasty stuff in Islam, in Islam, it's halal. My, my, my Deutsch is sehr gut, huh? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I'm learning, I'm learning. So guys, imagine, how is Allah the same God? Shiuch sometimes say anal is haram. But here we find that you can enjoy the anus of your wife. So is it halal or haram? Contradiction. But anyway, what can we expect from Islam? Now there is another, I'm going now to show you tafsir for the Quran. So, the, so you get the idea why. Remember, fiqh is the end game, right guys? Fiqh is the end game. Like if you play a game, you play, uh, for example, we used to play um, Mario Brothers, right? On the Nintendo back in the old days. We, when we go all the way to the last level, we find the big boss, Koopa, right? Or uh, what do we call him again also? Bowser? Or oh, whatever. You know, so the, so basically what I'm trying to say is the end game of Islam is Sharia and Fiqh. Jurisprudence, the Madhahab, this is the end game. Okay. And they all base their teaching on the Quran and Sunnah. I mean, the scholars are not fabricating. I mean, Audhili Jesus. So, Audhu Billah, Audhu Bi Jesus. <clears throat> so, let's see what the Quran says. Okay? Let's see what the Quran says. Look, we go to Tafsir for the ayah in chapter 2, Surah, surah, surah Al Baqarah, guys. Always Tafsir. This is not my, this is Tafsir Al Tabari. For chapter 2, I had 223. I did a video about this, by the way, guys, and a live show as well. Tafsir al Tabri 2, 223, Quran. From Qatada, he said, Abu Darda was asked about women having intercourse in their. Where? A N U S. Women about women having dinghy dinghy in their okay abu darda okay was asked and he abu darda said can anyone do that but an infidel only a kafir can do this ruh said i witnessed ibn abi malika asking about that so a, another person was asking about dinghy dinghy in the, okay? And he said, I wanted to do it from behind. <laughs> he wanted what? To do it with my slave. With my slave yesterday. But it didn't work out. Why, guys? Because the poor little girl, the sex slave, was too tight. She had a small, she had a small, tight. Okay? So it didn't work. The guy could not fit his banana in the poor little girl's, 
where the sun doesn't shine. So I, now guys, look at this beautiful story. So I used to use some fat or cream, i.e. to make it go smoothly inside of the slave girl. So the poor girl suffered and he used fat or cream. And Muslims say it's haram, but the guy, the, the Sahaba were doing it. Quran, Tabari. Mashallah, Mashallah Ali Jesus, Mashallah Ali Jesus. So they say it's uh, dingy dingy in the dingy uh, is not halal, it's haram. Well, what do you mean? The Sahaba used to do it with the poor little slave girls. And they used well, to... <laughs> <laughs> They used Vaseline, brother. <laughs> uh, now, do you understand how? How the madhabs get the information from from this? <laughs> oh ha! Yeah, it's in front of you, brother. I mean, I mean, do you see what they used to do to poor little slave girls against their wills? You think the slave girl enjoyed it? It was she. She had a small, <clears throat> small. So oh, he destroyed her. Oh my her. god! Do you, you hear it, right, Amir? Yeah, Amir heard it. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is Islam, guy. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, guys. This is Islam. This is Quran. This is Tafsir. So, in other words, guys, is sodomy halal? Well, yeah, it's halal. And as I told you guys, this is why the Quran is from Satan. This is why Muhammad and the Sahaba were a bunch of Satanists. We know that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed by God. God doesn't allow you to do these filthy things. It's a sin. But in Islam, it's halal. Unbelievable, right guys? I hope uh, Coptic Prince is uh, okay. He had to leave, I think, maybe a phone call or something. Pray for my brother, Coptic Prince. He's also ex-Muslim like brother Amir, guys. So do we have, as you see, guys, we have many ex-Muslims. Don't worry. Because of the internet, Islam is dying because everything is going out now. Everything is on the screens. Everything is on the videos. Everything is on TikTok. The books are exposed. Khalas. Like uh, Sheikh Ibn Ketchup said, Khalas, my bad. <laughs> Khalas, everything is exposed. Blah, 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 blah. Come up, come up, Mr. Blah, 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 blah. Let me, let's see what I will do to you. Let's see if you will say more blah, 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 blah. Unbelievable, right, guys? Uh, Kamil, Kamil, uh, uh, there's no need to say that, uh, brother. I'm, uh, I'm talking to the Mario guy. Don't, don't need to do that, brother. Don't say that, brother. Uh, hey, Amir, welcome back. So what do you think about this tafsir, uh, brother Amir? Uh, which tafsir? That I showed. Salam wa muta. Salam wa muta wa bacon. How are you guys doing? Hey, Habibi, Babylon, how are you? Habibi, Amir, God bless you, brother. God bless you, too. Muslims, where is your Hamdi? I'm looking <laughs> for him everywhere. <laughs> Muslims, <laughs> tell Hamdi we are here for him. From USA, we're coming to Germany. Okay? We've been Germany. here for a while. So we're taking over. Oh, yeah. And we're going to spank you with the Quran on your heads. Well, I, I have my five fingers tattooed Babylon, Rob Christian, Christian Prince. Each finger has a tattoo on it. When I'm going to spank him, it's going to be like Muhammad. Forever. A tag. 
Muslims, go get your Hamdi here. We can spank them a little bit. How are you doing, Habibi Rab? Hey, Habibi Babylon. How are you? I hope you're okay, brother. Yeah, just tired. Um, uh, do you think uh, Babylon, Habibi, do you think Hamdi uh, is dreaming about us? What do you think? Oh, every night, brother, he's hiding in his hole. He doesn't yeah. want to get out. He's shivering. He's shaking. Now we got the Arab, the, uh, the Christian Arabic speaker here. Muslims, we already destroyed all the Dawa guys in English. We're coming to Germany now. Okay. Germany is now next. Germany belongs to us. Don't worry. I mean, I mean to Jesus. Of course. So, I heard you guys talking about sex. I love this topic, especially in Islam. Muslims, do you guys know that Muhammad guarantee heaven for you? But you gotta give him something. Where is Amir? Amir, do you know that one, Habibi? <laughs> We make Dawa in Germany with the American brothers. <laughs> of course, we are the American Dawa. We will take over the Islam. We will make it right I this mean, time. Uh, I mean, when I'm when I'm think about it, no Muslim who are a little bit of knowledge uh, would uh, step in a debate with you. I I don't understand why because they know when they when they come in a debate they, they lose their faith eh? because everybody will see that Islam is a joke. Of of course, my brother, you know why? Because they have no basic. The base of Islam is built on sand. Yani Babylon, on. Babylon are you trying to say that we are slowly going to make Germany big again, great again? Read what? Yani, yani, with the truth, when you bring the truth and the hammer down on the face of Islam, oh, yeah. make, make Germany great again. Breathe again, great again, again. Yeah. great again, better again, stronger again, back to <laughs> Jesus again. Amen. So, Amir, Habibi, yes. do you know that Muhammad can guarantee heaven? He can guarantee heaven. He can guarantee you heaven, but you got to give him something. I know the hadith in which he says when someone is, goes to jihad and the first uh, drop of blood we shed, he is forgiven all his, his sins. The crown oh, of that... dignity will come over, over his head and he became his place and he became his 72 holy wives and yeah. uh, he can intercede no, no. for 70 of his family. No, that's Allah number one. Now we're talking about Allah number two, Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> the real Allah, the real Allah, the, the, the real, real Allah. Allah of Islam. Yes, yes. Amir, watch. So, Amir, watch. Sahih Bukhari, six eight zero seven. Rob Christian, you want to bring it up, please, since you have the big screen. Okay, I make a big screen. I make you big screen. Wait. No, no, no Rob Christian. He can't. He can't. Please, okay, Rob Christian. Christian. Yeah, he, he, he delivers pizzas fingers. like you. So yeah. Sahih Bukhari 6807 Muslims. Mm -hmm. Muhammad can guarantee you heaven, but you gotta do something for him. Especially the man. Not the woman I'm talking to, huh? Muslim man. Muhammad is here for you only. Watch this. Uh Amir, keep your eyes on the road because you're going to make accident if you this oh, is shocking. Uh, every everything is empty here. Six eight zero seven Sahih Al Bukhari. Okay, not Daif Abu Khara. No, Sahih Abu Khara. Six eight zero seven. Yeah. Narrated Sal bint Saad. The Prophet said, "Whoever guarantees me." This false translation. This part. Not going to read it. Of what is between his legs. I private one. This is I also what they are explaining. Yeah. So what is that? What is between what? Guarantee what you have to give him. You have to give Muhammad your dignity. You gotta give. Yep. What in this between his legs? Amir. Muhammad says, give me what's in between your legs. <laughs> Muhammad wants your uh... <laughs> What the heck is that? Wait, wait, we're not done yet. Keep keep reading, uh, Rob. And 
What is between his jaw? Your mouth, your tongue. Muhammad, I guarantee you. Paradise. <laughs> Guys, we what just proved that? that Muhammad. We just proved Muhammad. He's A B C D E L G B T Q. Seven. Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> so give your banana to Muhammad, okay, Muslims? Give your Muhammad banana. Wants your banana in his and mouth. Don't don't forget, Rob. Aywa. The thing we put on uh, the gel from back door. From back door, yes. Muhammad yep. wants it from from behind. Yeah. Uh huh. Abu Bakr said it Muhammad was maniac. <laughs> maniac, yeah. What is that for a hadith? He's talking about what is between our legs, or what? What did he yes. say? Yes, yes, he wants yeah. your leg. He wants your third leg. Amir. The third leg. What's your third leg? And bring the gel with you, please. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. But I, I don't, I don't know this hadith. He wants hey, your dingy. Dingy. Yes, he wants your dingy dingy. Like uh, we say. I mean, uh, brother, can you show the brother, brother, brother? Can you show the Arabic? Can you show the Arabic sentence? Go and read the Arabic. What did he say? Uh, uh, in this Arabic line. Here. Man tawakkal li ma bayna rijlehi. Rijlehi from between his legs. Rijlehi between his legs. Wa ma bayna lahiyehi. توكلت له بالجنة جدنتي. بين وات ما بين وات ما بين رجليه in between his legs. This part. Oh. That means we have to give him this between our legs, then we can we can get in the paradise or what? Only man. Only man. No woman. Muhammad was Muhammad is only only. Guys, there's a hadith. There's a hadith where Muhammad says Rob. he was only good for two things: perfume and women for dingy dingy. That was Muhammad. Brother, did oh. brother, brother, did Muhammad call women whore? Yes. Allah called. Where can whore. we find Allah. it? What? Where can we find it? In which Muhammad said women are whore what? when they show in her face? Yes. Well, that's the best topic for Rob Christian, man. You ask whatever he likes. This is the best it. for him. I love it. I love it, baby. I, his favorite topic, oh. sir. Uh, Rob, I hope you're going to uh, bring up Arab and Atraba. Like, uh, Amir, I debated a Moroccan guy. He he was a Hafiz. Hafiz. And uh, Babylon was there. When we showed him, he said, uh, Rob, you create this. <laughs> <laughs> you create oh, Quran. <laughs> He's an Imam. He told Rob Christian, You wrote the Quran. You wrote this in the Quran. He was reading the Quran. The Imam, the Hafiz, told Rob Christian, You wrote this ayah in the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's recorded. Yes. Rob Christian has the has the power to make Quran. Yes. yes. I'm Allah, that's why. Uh, uh, guys, respect yourself. To prove... Respect yourself. What are you saying, man? What I'm Allah? Hey, Abu Abu Jassim. <laughs> Abu Jassim. What's that? Uh, hey, what, what did Allah call? Like what, I, did, I, what did Allah? I, just I, second, wait, Abu Jassim. First of all, I'm you need Jesus. to say hello. If, if I say I'm Be Jesus. a normal human being. Say hello Allah. first. Say hello first. Normal human beings greet. No, no, I don't say to you hello. I uh, say, ah, okay. he's a Shia guy. He is a Shia guy. Shia. Oh, how do you know that? How do you know that, Abu Amir? <laughs> I know you. I know you, my friend. I know you. He's Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a Kennedy of party stemmer. Shia. We have. We don't have problem with Shia, Habibi. We have problem. Okay, with okay. Shia. Then say. We have problem the with people, Sunni. Then say to the people that this prophet is in Sunni sources. It's not in Shia. So yeah, we know that that the prophet of Islam, uh, Kan Markub, uh, Shatin, uh, took the virginity of of Rasulullah in Sunni Islam. We know that. Shaytan, Abu Jassim, the Shaytan did we and his your, home, your homeboys, the Shaytan and the homeboys, they took they took turns on the anus of Rasulullah in Sunni books.
You know that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I know the, the whole. Nah. Hadith about so, what do you want to say to your Sunni brothers who believe in this? I, I say to them uh, that they uh, have to live misguided Sunnism. Mm. Sunnism. Yeah. So you see, guys, at least the Shia are more honest. They they know about it. They know about it. You see, Amir, when we show you the books, we don't lie. Even the Shia know that Rasul that Rasulullah in Sunni Islam was Markub. Shayateen took his virginity. They took turns. There, there was a group of Shayateen called Qawm al-Zut. And we even know, even know the name of the commander of the general of, the, of Qawm al-Zut. His name was Zawba'a. Zawba'a commanded his fellow Shayateen. He was the general of the Shayateen. And they came and they started to ride Rasulullah. They took his anus. By turn, ah, this, turns. This, this is why this is why Hamdi uh, said no. This is not true. He he translated uh, wrongly, and uh, no one write uh, Muhammad in a sexual manner. You know, in a sexual yeah. way. Yes, 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 yes. They called us liars. Now the Shia are confirming it. Do you see it? Yeah, they say the Shia lying too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everybody is lying. <laughs> uh, Paulus was lying, Habib. Paulus. Uh, yeah, like go down, go down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Uh, look, look. I want only to say, if you don't have problems with Shia, th then don't shoot against Shia. Uh, where do you hear, did you hear me shoot against Shia? If no, you, I mean, Shia, I mean, Abu Amir, Abu Amir. Listen, listen, uh, listen Abu Jassam. Uh, if we, if Shia, 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 if you shall behave with nothing against you, because Sunnis want to come after us and they want to come after you as well. So, and they will come after you first. So we have the same <laughs> problem. Um, but but we can we can debate about these topics. I can I, I want to debate uh, Christians. Do you understand? You that? want to debate me? How, yes. How yes. are you going to debate me if you don't believe but, the Quran uh, is is correct? You, you no, Shia no, believe no, 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 the Quran no. is lost. The, the Sunni is so I'm going to debate me, Habibi. Okay, okay. There's no point. Wait, 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 wait. What is the point in debating Shia? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wait, wait, ganz kurz, ganz kurz. Is the Quran not verfälscht by the Sunniten, Abu Amir? Yeah, okay. Sag, sag eure Shia, Sheikh, das nicht genauso. Nein, nein, sagen Sie nicht. Okay, Rob, show, show them please the reference in which a big Shia has said that the Quran is corrupted. Uh, look, 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 look. I, I say something. Um, there are... Um, um